subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. So the fight between Goku and Cell has begun as everyone would watch and see how Goku and Cell are going against one another. Both Goku and Cell would fight the same way they did during the original timeline, blow to blow, hit to hit. Since Cell is stronger than Goku, Goku would start to lose some stamina during his fight against Cell as Cell still standing and fighting. Goku would then power up and do his instant transmission Kamehameha wave. After being hit by Goku's Kamehameha wave, Cell has completely regenerated himself. Seeing that got Goku to go full power by charging up to 100% and went off on Cell by repeatedly attacking him non-stop. Doing so got Goku completely drained out and he lost all of his stamina. Seeing that Goku can no longer fight, Cell said, my turn, and the table has turned as Cell went and repeatedly attacked Goku non-stop and started to beat the shit out of Goku. When Goku was completely worn off and beaten by Cell, Cell was about to eliminate him and say it's time for you to die Goku, I'm gonna change the rule and kill you instead. Hearing that got the Z Warriors upset and before they could do anything, we seen a white light appear right at Goku and therefore Goku's eyes turned gray and a blue light gray aura surrounded Goku's body. When Goku opened his eyes, we saw he has unlocked his Ultra Instinct. Seeing that got everybody surprised that just what does Goku do, what is this new power of Goku and what has happened to him. Cell then went and attacked Goku but Goku dodged all of his attack like it was nothing. Cell tried everything to do to hit Goku but he couldn't land one single blow. Goku then went and decked Cell as he fell right to the ground for a long period of time. Everyone was surprised to see as Ultra Instinct Goku goes and handles Cell like if he was nothing. Cell then got very frustrated and went 100% against Ultra Instinct Goku but still couldn't land one hit on him. Cell then went mad and attacked Goku with a big Kamehameha wave. Goku managed to disperse it like if it was nothing. And from there when Goku decked Cell, Cell spat out Android 18 and even 17. That's how powerful Goku's punch was. And then from there Goku went and delivered the final blow as he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he fired it against Cell. Cell then died right there. Goku's Ultra Instinct worn off and everybody including the entire world since this was broadcast saw the heroism that Goku has done and how he defeated Cell and therefore Goku was the world's hero. Everyone saw that he defeated Cell and because Goku was the hero of defeating Cell his family became very rich the whole city gave Goku a prize and that was they gave him a lifetime money and they even named a city after Goku called Goku City. Mr. Satan would be completely irrelevant since he didn't get the credit for beating Cell. He would have not be rich and be complete irrelevant while the Goku family is living off of money. All of them are so happy that they were able to, that Goku was able to beat Cell and they all asked him just what was the power that he used. Goku himself had no idea but he knew that he needs to utilize this power and be able to perfect it so he could use it anytime at will. They went and used the Dragon Balls to wish back everyone that Cell has killed and the earth was at peace again. One benefit here is that Goku would also be there to raise Goten since he never died. During the 7 year gap, Goku would have gone and trained every day so that he's able to use Ultra Instinct power again and be able to control it because he learned that this power only came out of desperation 
and when he surpasses limit, he wants to use it anytime. And during that gap, Goku, Gohan, and even Vegeta got in a lot stronger, and they all three were able to use Super Saiyan 2. Gohan would have gone to school like he did before and meet Videl, but Videl wouldn't be as strong due to her family not being famous. And when it comes to Goku's family, they would be extremely famous and extremely rich, all thanks to him beating Cell. Goku didn't like it at first being famous, but he liked the fact that Chi Chi was happy that they were getting money so that she could educate Gohan and Goten. Goku now became the face of the earth, the hero that the earth needed and everyone loved, and now the 7 year gap has happened, Gohan and Goten gotten older, Chi Chi became more relaxed since Goku is now rich, they don't have to worry about money finance wise, while Goku kept going back and forth to earth and King Kai's planet to train and learn his new powers. One day everybody decided to meet up and participate in the world martial arts tournament. Supreme Kai came there and he saw that Goku and everyone was there and he decided to tell them about Majin Buu. Before anything could happen and even start the tournament, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo and Gohan all decided to go with Supreme Kai and find Babidi so that they can locate where Majin Buu is. Once when they got there, Piccolo would be the first one to turn into stone since he saw that Deborah was there and Deborah noticed all of them. He went and spat at Piccolo. They then would go all inside to follow the Bora and to find Babidi. And the same thing as before, Vegeta would have fought Pew Pew, Goku would have fought Yakon, and when he fought him, Vegeta saw just exactly how strong Goku is and that Goku is actually stronger than him. And then when it comes to Gohan, since he's been training with Goku and Chi has been laid, laid off him of studying, Gohan would have been as strong as he was during the Cell game and therefore he would have gotten a lot stronger due to the fact that he was training with Goku and he achieved Super Saiyan 2. Gohan would have went and defeated King Debora. Seeing Vegeta's attitude and anger towards Goku being stronger, Babidi got the idea of trying to control him so that if those two fight, Majibu can be awakened. He has managed to achieve his goal as he controlled Vegeta and Vegeta has now became Majin Vegeta. With anger in his heart, Vegeta wanted to fight Goku just to see how much stronger is Goku compared to him. And we saw a battle with Super Saiyan 2 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta go head to head. While they're fighting, Majin Buu has finally been awakened due to their power clashing. Gohan and Supreme Kai tried everything to stop it, but they got hurt during the process and Majin Buu decided to knock them out cold. After when Vegeta's fight was done with Goku, Goku overpowered Vegeta and knocked him out cold. Goku then got Vegeta and instant transmission towards where Gohan and Supreme Kai was and took them to Kami's lookout. Once they got there, then they came and healed all of them and they saw that Majibu went on a killing spree and decided to kill everyone that came to his path. Babri then showed the world that Majibu is here to kill you and that there's no hero that can stop them and out of nowhere. Goku appeared right in front of Majin Buu and Babidi and the world has seen their hero once again as they all cheered for Goku. Seeing Goku gave them hope and that's when Goku said to them to leave, get out of planet earth. Babidi refused to leave and said that Majin Buu will kill you and left Goku no choice but to fight. Goku then went Super Saiyan 2 and started to attack Majin Buu but saw that he didn't even manage to lay a scratch on him. So therefore, Goku went right back to his regular base and smiled and said, Now, are you ready for this? Seeing this got Majin Buu confused and Babidi. At first they laughed at Goku's appearance, but when Buu attacked Goku, he couldn't land a single hit. Goku then decked Buu so hard that it literally pierced to his stomach and started to beat the shit out of him. And before you know it, Goku powered up a Kamehameha wave and killed Majin Buu. With the blast, Babidi died along with him. The Earth saw this and they were all happy again that the hero saved them against this terror Majin Buu. Goku then went back to Kami's lookout 
gathered all the Dragon Balls and wished back everyone that died by the hands of Majin Buu. Goku's family again got paid for beating Majin Buu and they continued to live the rich life. As Goku now knows how it feels to live and be wealthy and rich just like how Vegeta and Boma were. Vegeta then came to Goku and made truce with him and accepted that he's better and Goku has earned his respect. Goku then celebrated the victory and threw a big party inside his own mansion. Vegeta then asked Goku, which you could say is his new best friend, to spar with him. Goku and Vegeta went head to head and when Vegeta said to go all out, Goku used his ultra instinct and knocked out Vegeta within a second. The earth has now regained peace again thanks to Goku. Meanwhile, far away from universe, Beerus the destroyer has awakened and asked Whis that he wants to fight a super saiyan god. Whis told him that there is a saiyan named Goku who is stronger than a super saiyan god. Hearing that got Beerus very excited and said, Whis, let's go to planet earth and see this saiyan. Beerus has awakened and told Whis that he wants to fight a super saiyan god. Whis told Beerus that Goku is a saiyan from earth and that he is actually a stronger than a super saiyan god and that his power almost rattles that of a god. Hearing that got Beerus very shocked and surprised and said how can a saiyan be this strong? I want to meet him Whis. Take me to Goku now. On earth it was Boma's birthday party. Goku had just got back from King Kai's planet training and he attended a party and Vegeta too has came back from training as both Goku and Vegeta were sitting down relaxing and enjoying the view while the rest of the Z warriors were celebrating Boma's birthday. Out of nowhere King Kai has contacted Goku and told him that Beerus has awakened and that he's very dangerous. Both Goku and Vegeta heard what King Kai had to say and King Kai warned him not to fight him or even get him mad because he is a destroyer, he will destroy everything. While celebrating, Beerus has arrived. Upon his arrival, Beerus said, Where is son Goku? I want to see him now. I am Goku. How can I help you? Vegeta too showed a lot of lordship towards Beerus so that he will not get mad and destroy the earth. Seeing Beerus, Vegeta remembered exactly who he was when he came to his planet when he was young and made his father bow down. Beerus then came and told Goku that where is a super saiyan god? I have no idea what a super saiyan god is but what I do know is we have amazing food here. Why don't you come join us and eat? I know your power level is stronger than that of a super saiyan god. I want to fight you son Goku. Hearing that god Goku is so excited because he wants to fight someone that's very strong. But remember what King Kai said. Beerus then told Goku to fight him and that if he doesn't satisfy him he will destroy the earth. Hearing that gave Goku no choice and Goku gladly accepted Beerus' challenge. Now Beerus and Goku fight began as they both went head to head. Goku went and transformed into a Super Saiyan 2 but before he knows it Beerus knocked him out cold within seconds. Being unsatisfied Beerus got upset and said this is the so called Super Saiyan God powered Whis. Is he the one that you said is stronger than Super Saiyan God? You lied to me. As Beerus got upset and started to power up a blast to destroy the earth. The rest of the Z Warriors saw that and came to attack Beerus. None of them were able to land a single hit on Beerus as Beerus went and knocked all of them to the ground. Vegeta went full power Super Saiyan 2 and attacked Beerus but Beerus 2 said that you ain't no match for me Saiyan. Get lost and he knocked out Vegeta straight to the ground. Goku then woken up and looked at Beerus and smiled. Why are you smiling? I haven't unleashed my trump card yet. Stopping now wouldn't be fair to you. It'd give you the wrong idea. Say what? Do you know what he's talking about, Whis? As Goku goes and unleashes his Ultra Instinct. Seeing that both Beerus and Whis froze and were completely shocked. Beerus looked towards Whis and Whis looked at Beerus and nodded his head saying yes 
this is what you think it is Beerus, it is the Ultra Instinct. Beerus then got very nervous and scared that how can a mortal like Goku be able to use this power? And that's when Goku said come fight me Beerus. And the battle with Goku and Beerus began as Beerus went and attacked Goku but none of his attacks were able to land on Goku. Goku dodged all of his attack and then Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Beerus. Beerus then was being overpowered by Goku, frustrated that he couldn't attack Goku. Beerus went and powered up a blast to destroy the earth, but Goku came in front of it and dispersed of it with just one hand. And then Goku said, it's my turn. Goku began to power up a Kamehameha way. Seeing that Goku was serious and he was actually going to go kill Beerus, Whis came in front of Goku and said, that's enough. You have won this battle. Beerus has accepted his defeat. Goku then went back to normal. And Beerus came up to Goku, shook his hand and said, Congratulations Saiyans, you actually managed to make me have so much fun and even feel fear. I will never forget your name, your name is Goku, right? Goku then said yes and they both became friends. Being completely amazed by Goku's Ultra Instinct power, Whis offered Goku to come along and train with him since he was beyond impressed with Goku and he told Goku that he will be able to help Goku make his Ultra Instinct even stronger. Hearing that got Goku so excited and said yes I accept this and I will come to train with you. Before Goku can leave, Vegeta came and said I want to train with you too and both Goku and Vegeta went off with Beerus and Whis to his planet to train. Once they got there, their training has now began. It has been one year. During that one year gap, both Goku and Vegeta gained a lot of power. They both gained God Key and were able to use Super Saiyan God and even Super Saiyan Blue. And during that one year gap, Goku kept going back and forth to home to see his family and back to Beerus' world to train. Frieza's men within that one year gap came to Earth, used the Dragon Balls and resurrected Frieza. Once when Frieza was resurrected, he was informed that Goku has become the strongest mortal to ever live. He even beat a Majin Buu like he was nothing and he managed to beat the great Lord Beerus. Hearing that, Frieza got very scared and decided to train for one year so that he would be stronger than Goku. Now that one year has passed, Goku and Vegeta both train and they have become completely strong. After training, Universe 7 and 11 were the only universe to have known to have a mortal stronger than their own God of Destruction. While perfecting their skills, Frieza has now finished his training and made his way towards Earth to get his revenge. Once when Frieza got there, he started to kill everyone that came his way until Goku came to fight him. Piccolo, Krillin, Master Roshi and Gohan would go there to stop him. Boma would do everything she can to call Beerus and let him know to make Vegeta and Goku come back to Earth so that they can fight Frieza. While training, Vegeta got the call and told him that Frieza has now arrived on Earth and he wants to kill you guys. Both Goku and Vegeta stopped their training and they went and made their way towards Earth. Once they got there, Frieza would be very angry to see Goku and right off the bat, Frieza went and transformed into his final form and the fighting has begun. Goku has first beat the shit out of Frieza showing that he's no match for him and that's when Frieza said, don't get comfortable monkey, I still have a power greater. Goku then went and transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue as they both went head to head, but Frieza began to overpower Goku since he was able to use his golden power to his fullest. When Frieza overpowered him, he started to beat the shit out of Goku and knocked him out and decked him to the ground. Once when Goku lands there, he smiles at Frieza and says, Wow Frieza, you really have gotten a lot stronger, but again, so have I. Seeing that, Goku went and transformed to his Ultra Instinct. Frieza had no idea what Ultra Instinct is. He went and started attacking Goku recklessly. Goku dodged all of Frieza's attack and decked him so hard that Frieza lost all his stamina and his golden power vanished from his body. Goku then went to Frieza and said it's over and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he killed Frieza. Vegeta got mad that why did Goku get all the fun and didn't let him fight 
But then, the earth was at peace again thanks to Goku. While everyone was celebrating and trying to enjoy their time off, Shenpa made his way to Universe 7 and tried to gather their Dragon Balls. Beerus found out and went to him and they decided to have a tournament to see who is stronger. Beerus then informed Shenpa that he has a mortal who is stronger than him and he could easily beat Shenpa too. Shenpa didn't believe what Beerus said and therefore Beerus took him to his world where Goku was training and showed him Goku. Beerus then asked Goku to fight Shenpa, but to make it fair, we saw something in Goku's eyes and therefore we said no, I want both you and Shenpa to fight together and fight Goku. Hearing that, both Beerus and Shenpa now teamed up to fight Goku and they overpowered Goku, even with his Ultra Instinct. But because of Goku being overpowered, Goku felt a push as he let go a loud scream. We saw Goku has now mastered his Ultra Instinct as he transformed to his Master Ultra Instinct. Once that happened, Goku handled both Beerus and Shenpa like if they were nothing and he knocked them out and threw them to the ground. When Shenpa woke up, he couldn't believe that Goku is strong and therefore he said to let's do a tournament. Goku is now known throughout the entire multiverse that he's the only mortal who is able to be two God of Destruction at one time. Universe 7 and Universe 6 had a tournament coming up and they all prepared for the tournament which is about to begin in 10 days. Vegeta and Goku went inside a hyperbolic time chamber to train, Gohan went to Supreme Kai's world to train and got his potential unlocked for the tournament. And now that Gohan has become fully strong, Goku and Vegeta came out of the hyperbolic time chamber too and now the participant for this tournament has been Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, Gohan, Tien. Everyone has started training for the tournament as the time has now began for them to go and arrive at the tournament. Vegeta has left the hyperbolic time chamber after training there for two days. Piccolo, Gohan and Tien spent together training with each other trying to get stronger while Goku was training with Whis. They have now arrived at the tournament and after they arrived they have done the test thanks to Vegeta's idea. Once the tournament has begun, Vegeta was the first one to fight as he stepped in and he fought Botamo. Being able to overpower Botamo, Vegeta then went and decked him out, out of the ring. He then went and fought Kaba and then he managed to teach Kaba how to transform into a Super Saiyan. While doing so, Vegeta went Super Saiyan Blue to show Kaba his true strength. Vegeta then went and fought Frost but then Frost used a needle to get him out. They then realized that Frost was using a needle which he was concealing to knock out all the fighters. And because of that, Vegeta was allowed to come back to the tournament as he came back and he managed to deck Frost hard for what he did. Vegeta then went and fought the next fighter from the universe 6 which was Magata. Vegeta was able to knock him out by using Super Saiyan Blue but he started to realize that his stamina was decreasing. Head has come to fight Vegeta one on one, but Vegeta proved to be no match for his as Hit overpowered Vegeta and knocked him out cold. When Goku entered, Beerus laughed and said, We have won this, this is over. And Shenpa said that the rule for this tournament is Goku's not allowed to use his full power. And Beerus got upset hearing this, but Goku agreed to it and Beerus said, Okay, do the rule. Hits then went and used his time skip to hit Goku. Goku went and used his Kaioken times 20 and he hit hit so hard that he fell to the ground. Goku then went back and hits got up and started to fight blow to blow, hit to hit as they were both almost you could say equally matched. Goku's Kaioken has worn off and he went back to normal and said, you know if I won I could end this fight right away. Hits it explain yourself. 
Goku's eyes turned gray as he went and used his Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct Goku easily saw Hit's time skip and one shot him to the ground as he fell right to the ground and Goku has won the Universe's tournament for Universe 7. Goku then told Hit that he loves to fight him and that he would love to have a one-on-one -on -one fight with him later on in the future. Shenpao was very disgraced and upset with his warriors of how they fought and he got so upset that he went and he was about to destroy them. The Omni King has arrived. Seeing that got Beerus and Shampa very scared and that's when the Omni King told him that he wants to hold a tournament of power. Goku was very excited and went to him and gave him dabs and just like before the Omni King had a liking towards Goku and he asked Goku to be his friend and therefore they both had a mutual understanding. Meanwhile, in a different timeline, Trunks was facing an evil man which was named as Black who looked completely like Goku. He then went and killed most of Trunks' people and Trunks managed to just barely escape his universe and he managed to come back to the timeline. Once when Goku and everyone got home, they saw that Trunks was already in the ground laying down in front of Boma's house all injured. They ran towards him, Goku went and got a sensor beam and they got him back as Trunks got up and saw Goku and he explained himself everything about his timeline and before you know it, Black has entered their universe. Jita, Beerus and Whis were very surprised to see a Goku lookalike has entered this universe as Goku went up to Black and Black said, so you're Goku, it's been a pleasure meeting you Goku and the fight between Goku and Black has begun. Goku then managed to go and beat the shit out of Black as he decked him so hard and before Black can get up to power up, he was being sucked by his time ring and he landed right back to his, his own timeline. Goku then made plans to get Bulma to make the time machine so he could go back and fight Black and save Trunks' timeline. Meanwhile, Beerus and Whis noticed that he had a time ring so they went to visit Universe 10 and Goku followed with them to find out more about Black. As Goku saw Zamasu and he wanted to spar with Zamasu hearing that he's one of the strongest Kai. After sparring with him, Goku went and defeated Zamasu and from there, Zamasu was then very ashamed with himself and how he could lose to a mortal and from there he started to do his secret planning. Meanwhile, Zeno has invited Goku to come meet him and when Goku did, Zeno asked him that he wants to be friends and to bring back a friend if you're leaving and he gave Goku a button, which if he clicks, he's able to see Zeno anytime. Goku then went back to his earth as Boma told everyone that good news that they have now managed to make the time machine. Vegeta, Goku and Trunks then went inside a time machine and they went right back to Trunks' timeline as they saw Black was waiting right there for them. Once they got there, Vegeta got very mad seeing Black as he went and transformed to a Super Saiyan Blue and started to attack Black rapidly. Black then got up and laughed and showed that I have a form much stronger. Black then went and stabbed Vegeta as he went and fell to the ground. Seeing this, Goku went kill Ken times 20 Super Saiyan Blue and attacked Black and had the upper hand. Goku started to beat the shit out of Black and noticed that Vegeta was about to die unless he was treated with a sensor beam. Before anything, Zamasu has appeared right in front of him and said, that is enough. You promised that we will be the one to take down Goku together. Zamasu and Black then powered up and threw a Kamehameha blast at Goku. As Goku went through his own Kamehameha blast and saw that Trunks came away and attacked Zamasu and told Goku to take Vegeta and go back to a timeline to heal him. Goku then took Vegeta back and told Beerus what happened as Beerus made a visit to Zamasu and he destroyed him with his Hakai. Meanwhile Goku and everyone learned that Zamasu is immortal and he cannot die and therefore they need to find a plan to kill him off and that's when Goku decided to learn the evil containment wave as he remembered his fight with Zamasu and got even more angry. They headed right back to Trunks timeline and saw that everything was broken up, Trunks was injured as Goku went and healed him with a sensor beam and that's when 
the final showdown with Goku, Vegeta, Zamasu and Black has begun. Black came as Super Saiyan Rose and confronted Goku. Vegeta and Trunks went to attack Zamasu while Goku fought Black head to head. Goku then asked Black how would you become Black and Black revealed him what he did, how he killed Beaumont everyone and stole Goku's body. As his eyes glowed and Goku went straight to Ultra Instinct. Seeing Ultra Instinct Goku, Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Z Black. Zamasu saw what happened and he ran right towards Black and told him let's do our second plan. As they went and they fused to become Merge Zamasu. Once when they fused, they went and started to laugh as they told him that you are now weak Saiyan, it is time for you to die. Goku then looked at him and smiled as he came right in front of him and he went and beat the shit out of Merge Zamasu. Being upset of how they're overpowered by Goku, Zamasu then started to trip out and say no no this can't be. But then Zamasu let out a loud laugh and said you silly Saiyan, have you forgotten I stole your body? and therefore I'm able to use the same power that you have? As we saw, Merge Zamasu has activated the Ultra Instinct. Seeing that he went and overpowered Goku and started to beat the shit out of Goku. Turns out Goku Black has learned to use the Ultra Instinct power because that was inside Goku's body before he took it. And therefore once when he took Goku's body he was able to utilize it and unlock his Ultra Instinct because Goku had that from the start. As Ultra Instinct Goku was being overpowered by Ultra Instinct Zamasu and he went and decked Goku hard to the ground as Goku fell and fainted. Zamasu then start to laugh and use his Justice Blade of Universe and start to kill most of the mortal. Seeing this got everybody really upset and lost hope that Ultra Instinct Goku has lost to Ultra Instinct Zamasu and all that. What can happen to this earth? And next thing you know, we saw Goku got up and Goku let out a scream. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into Master Ultra Instinct. Seeing this got Zamasu very confused and upset and worried about Goku's new form and just what is this. As he came and tried to attack Goku but Ultra Instinct Zamasu couldn't lay a single blow towards Master Ultra Instinct. Goku then went and started to beat the shit out of Zamasu as he went and decked him three times and that made Zamasu start to lose control as his whole face got bruised up filled with purple like gooish coming out of his body. Zamasu then couldn't handle it and Goku said it is time to finish you up once and for all. Master Ultra Instinct Goku has powered up a full Kamehameha Blast Me and he threw it at Zamasu. As Zamasu Merge couldn't handle the amount of power that Master Ultra Instinct had and it killed him right there. But because Zamasu was mortal, his soul lived on as he went and started to hunt around the entire earth. Seeing that got Master Ultra Instinct to power up another Kamehameha Blast and he threw it at Merge Zamasu but saw that it did not phase him because he was mortal. Being left out with any clue what to do. Master Ultra Instinct Goku then saw that he had a button that Zeno gave him. As he clicked that button and he saw Zeno has appeared right in front of him and Zeno asked what happened. When Goku showed him Zamasu, Zeno said it's time for me to destroy everything, you must leave. Zeno then went and destroyed the entire universe. Goku, Trunks, Mai and Vegeta managed to just barely get back to the universe but Goku has managed to save the day and he went and and used a time machine to get Zeno back and came back to his original timeline. As he took Zeno to his timeline Zeno and those two became friends. Goku then came back to earth and everybody was celebrating and were very happy that the fact that they were able to beat Merge Zamasu. Whis then went and took Trunks and told him that he could return him back to his timeline as he took Trunks and Mai and returned them back to their timeline 
and everything went right back to normal. Everyone was celebrating, Goku and everyone were eating, and when Goku and Beerus grabbed the same food, they got into a fight as Beerus said that this is mine. Goku said no, this is mine. Beerus then went and said, alright Saiyan, this is, what you want, this is how you want to play. He then went and used Hakai. Goku used his Master Ultra Instinct form, managed to disperse of it, and decked Beerus so hard that he flew out of Earth and Goku managed to get the last piece of food. Everyone was having an amazing time as they were all celebrating, but little did they know that the Zenos from this universe planned to make Tournament of Power and that the tournament is going to begin very soon and that the losing team will lose their universe. Goku was at Beerus' world and felt very bored and said, oh I remember, Zeno made a promise to do the Tournament of Power. And before you know it, Goku then went and instant transmission towards where Zeno was with the help of Supreme Kai and he asked him about the Tournament of Power. Zeno then told him that his universe is very strong and that the only reason why his universe is inside the Tournament of Power is because he wants to see Goku in action and Goku is the reason why the universe is very strong. In other words, if Universe 7 never fought, they would have survived because Zeno knows Goku is the strongest mortal in the multiverse. But he still wants to see Goku in action is the reason why he told him that he wants to help the turn of power and have Goku to be inside there. Goku came back to Beerus world and told them about the tournament of power. Out of nowhere, Grand Minister appeared and told them the date and that they need 10 fighters in order to be in participating inside the tournament of power. He also mentioned that the Omni King requested for an exhibition match and therefore he wants to display Goku's power to the future Omni King and that's why Universe 7 has to gather at least 3 opponents just so they could go to the exhibition match. Goku then went and gathered himself, Gohan and Majin Buu and they went to the exhibition match. Just like in the original timeline, Majin Buu went and fought Basil, Gohan went and fought Lavender as he used his mystic form and overpowered him like he was nothing and then Goku turned was up as he went and fought Bergamo. Bergamo didn't stand a chance as Goku used a Super Saiyan Blue and ended him like if he was nothing. Just then, before anything could happen, Topo has come and attacked Goku. Goku then went and powered up to a KO Ken and knocked Topo out but then they were going head to head. And that's when Topo said if I kill Goku, there will be no tournament of power because he's too evil. As Topo went to attack Goku again, Goku got mad and powered up to a KO Ken times 30. Goku was able to use this much power in his body as he went and decked Topo so hard and Topo was knocked out cold. Dai Shinken came to end the fight and told him all that the winner is Universe 7 and Dai Shinken has also informed all the gods and angel that Goku is the strongest mortal in the multiverse. His power is that of an angel. Everyone that was there was scared of Goku while he was excited to fight in the tournament. Goku then said that I don't care who comes at me, I want all you guys to be strong so we can have a fun match in this tournament. They then got back and they started to begin gathering all the opponents, all their teammates to be inside the tournament of power. Goku so far has gathered himself, Vegeta, Gohan and Piccolo. Gohan went and recruited Tian. Goku has gone to recruit Android 17 and 18. Master Roshi was recruited by Gohan as he requested Master Roshi to be part of this tournament along with Tien. Just when they needed two more fighters, Goku then went to Majin Buu and told him that he would like him to be inside a tournament of power. Majin Buu has gladly accepted Goku's offer. They are now one fighter short. Goku then tried to search for a last fighter and before anything he has went to King Kai's planet. When he went to King Kai's planet, he told King Kai he needs to sense who is the strongest mortal that is in this universe. King Kai said I have no idea the, so far what I sense only your world has strong mortals. Goku then transformed into Master Ultra Instinct having a sensing power times 70 and he sensed that there was a very strong mortal power level coming from a remote planet called Planet Vempa. Goku then instant transmission towards that planet. Once when he got there, Paragus saw a Saiyan was standing in their planet and when he saw it was Goku. He did not like Goku because Goku reminded him of the Saiyans and also Bardock. Goku then saw that Paragus was there with the tail and Broly and that's when Goku said wow this is amazing you guys are Saiyan I am Goku from Earth I would love for you guys to come 
and joined before anything can happen Brawly got mad and attacked Goku because Paragus said to attack him. Brawly started to lose control and started to fight Goku as he went to his Ozara form. Goku then went to Super Saiyan Blue and decked Brawly really hard. While they're fighting, one of the insects there went and ate Paragus as he died right there. When Brawly saw that, he lost control and he transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan. As a fight between Broly and Goku has begun. Goku saw just how dangerous Broly is and he went back to normal and transformed into a Ultra Instinct. Once he used Ultra Instinct, Broly couldn't lay a single finger on Goku. Goku then went and decked him hard as Broly fell right to the ground and was knocked out cold. When Broly got up, Goku was standing right next to him and shook his hand and said that I've been waiting for you and I want to talk to you. Broly then saw that Goku standing there before anything, Goku said relax, I'm your friend. I just want to say to you that I would love for you to come join my world and be part of this tournament called the Tournament of Power. At first Broly had no interest but when Goku told him that there's something called the Super Dragon Balls and that you can use that to wish back Paragus, Broly then accepted his offer and said he will gladly join Goku and help him fight in this Tournament of Power. Once when Goku took Broly, he instant transmission back to Earth. Everyone was at Boma's place gathering making plans and they saw Goku has arrived with Broly. When Vegeta saw Broly and his power level, Vegeta got very scared and nervous at the same time. He was amazed at how did Goku come back with a Saiyan. He asked him, Kakura, what is this? Everyone saw that Broly was a Saiyan and that's when Goku explained them everything what happened. They all welcomed Broly and was very happy to have Broly to be part of their tournament. Vegeta then went and asked Whis to train him. Meanwhile, Goku and Broly decided to spar with each other and train to get stronger so they could be prepared for the tournament of power. As Goku was very intrigued to fight with Broly. And now the participant for the tournament of power is we got Vegeta, Broly, Gohan, Majin Buu, Piccolo, Android 17, Android 18, Master Roshi, Tian. And last but not least, Goku, who is the leader. The time has now arrived and the tournament of power has now began as we gather everyone and told Dai Shiken they're ready and they all instant transmission towards the tournament of power. The fight has begun. It's been 30 minutes while most universes have been knocked out. Only there have been three universes that has been knocked out and eliminated. Meanwhile, Goku everyone was trying to survive and they made a plan that Goku will be their trump card and that he will not fight until they need him to fight. But Goku did not agree knowing him. He said, nope, I want to fight everybody equally and have fun. As they all went and split up and began the tournament of power. Kyle went berserk. Broly saw that and he transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan. Being able to transform to that form now, Broly then went and decked Hell and Caulifall so hard and knocked them out cold and threw them out of bounds. Hit came to with his time skip but it was not enough to stop Broly as Broly went and decked Hit and threw him out. Broly then started to power up more as he started to lose some control and he went and knocked out most of Universe 11 people too. Seeing how dangerous Broly was, Jaren came and confronted Broly. Broly tried to attack Jaren, Darren dodged it like it was easy and decked Broly so hard it got Broly to send flying away and that's when Jaren threw Broly out of the ring. Broly has been eliminated. Vegeta meanwhile came to fight Topo. He went and decked Topo. Topo decked him back as Vegeta was getting overpowered by Topo and Topo transformed into his God of Destroyer form. Seeing that got Vegeta to be pushing his limit and we saw Vegeta's eyes go gray. Vegeta has transformed into a Ultra Instinct. Seeing that got all the universes to get up and be a surprise of Vegeta's power, Goku was so amazed and happy that Vegeta has finally achieved this as Vegeta went and beat the shit out of Topo and knocked him out. But because that was too much for Vegeta to handle, Vegeta lost all stamina and from there he was knocked out of the ring right after his fight with Topo. Goku has come and we saw the fight between Goku and Jiren has begun as Goku went Super Saiyan Blue KO Ken times 20 and then he powered up to 30 and he fought Jiren but he still didn't stand a chance. Goku then got overpowered and went back to his normal base and said it's time to kick it up a notch. 
as he went and transformed to his Ultra Instinct. Jaren then got overpowered by Goku's Ultra Instinct, but then Jaren was still managing to hold his own. Jaren then went and tried to attack Goku, but Goku managed to dodge it and knock Jaren started to beat the shit out of Jaren. Being pushed to a corner, Jaren then remembered his childhood and his past, and he remembered that he cannot feel this as he let out a very big scream. <laughs> And Jaren has transformed himself by breaking his limiting shell. Jaren then went and beat the shit out of Ultra Instinct Goku as Goku then got mad and let out a very loud scream. Who then went and transformed into Master Ultra Instinct. Master Ultra Instinct Goku and Jiren were tied as they went head to head, blow to blow. They were pretty much, you could say, equal. But then Jiren was going 100% while Goku was only going 70%. Goku then decided to kick it up a notch. Doing so, Jiren didn't stand a chance as Jiren's Ultra Instinct ran out and Goku went and beat the shit out of him and knocked him out cold with the Kamehameha wave and Jiren was knocked out. From there, Master Ultra Instinct then went and eliminated everyone that was there. Goku then got the opportunity to use a Super Dragon Ball but he wished back for all the multiverse to be restored. Once when they made that wish, everyone came back and Jiren looked at Goku and smiled and said, Goku, I will never forget your name. Your name will always be planted in my heart forever. I would love to have a spar with you one day and Jiren said, me too. And that's when they all went back to their universes. But before Goku went back, Dai Shinkin came to Goku and told him that he was very impressed with Goku's Master Ultra Instinct power and that he wants Goku to stay behind for two years. Dai Shinkin told Goku that he wants to train him and get Goku to be strong within that two years. Goku then accepted his offer and everybody went back to Earth while Goku stayed behind to train with Dai Shinkin. Two years has passed, everyone was having a barbecue party. Broly became part of the Z Warriors as he settled down there too living with the Z Warriors and he fell in love with Earth and he was part of the Z Warrior gang. While they're all celebrating, out of nowhere, Goku has appeared with his instant transmission and everyone saw that ran towards Goku and hugged him as they were all happy to see their hero return. Vegeta then came to Goku and shook his hand and said, I'm glad you're back Kakarot. I want to fight you. Let's see how strong you are. I have an idea. Hey Broly, come with me. You too Vegeta. Goku took their hand and instant transmission towards Jiren's universe, universe 11. Jiren saw Goku. He came and shook Goku's hand and said, it's nice to finally see you again, son Goku. Now let's have a battle royale to see who's the strongest. Let's do it as they all transform into their ultra instinct. Brawly, due to not having Ultra Instinct, was knocked out, but then Jaren went and beat the shit out of Vegeta while Vegeta tried to hold his own, but he still was no chance. And that's when Goku looked at him and said, Listen, guys, why don't we calm down? We all know I won this. Goku powered up. Turns out, with his training two years with the Dai Shinkin, Goku has now surpassed all angels and took his Master Ultra Instinct level to a new level called Beyond Master Ultra Instinct giving him his hair like a Super Saiyan style. This is now Goku's new power as he went and one-shotted both of them to the ground and laughed and Goku was the winner and that's when they all smiled and saw just how powerful Goku has become. Goku was in his home relaxing. Everyone was relaxing as he was spending some time with Pan as she was having a lot of fun with her grandpa and that's when Goku got a telepathic call from Whis. Whis first said, Hi Goku, how you've been? It's been a long time. It's been almost two years since I last saw you. The last time Goku saw Whis and Beerus was in the Tournament of Power. And that's when Whis asked Goku to want you come over so we can have a long chat. I'd like to ask you some stuff. Goku then said okay as he put down Pan and told Chi Chi he has to leave. And he instant transmission towards Beerus' world. 
Once when Goku got there, he saw that Vegeta and Broly were training with Whis as they were trying to perfect and get stronger. Vegeta did not know how to use his Ultra Instinct anymore as he was trying to ask Whis for help to gain that knowledge of using it again and Broly while training with Whis managed to get so strong that he is now able to use Super Saiyan Blue mixed with his legendary Super Saiyan power. Seeing that got Goku extremely impressed as he said wow guys you guys are so damn strong. I can't believe it you guys came and trained here without me. Goku I have a request. Yes what's up? Fight me one on one. Huh? I would like for to see how strong you have gotten after all you are the only mortal in this entire multiverse to have the pleasure to be trained by my father for two years. That's your dad and holy shit yeah I'd love to fight you one on one let's go. Beerus was very curious to see just how strong Goku has gotten as he sat right next to Vegeta and Broly and wanted to see the battle. Goku and Whis battle has began as they started to go head to head but Whis went and slapped the shit out of Goku and said you know you don't stand a chance on your normal base why are you wasting your time. Goku smiled and said okay and he went and powered up and when Master Ultra Instinct. And from there Goku went and went even more power as he, he screened more and he went beyond Master Ultra Instinct using his Ultra Instinct at 100%. Once Goku did that, him and Whis went and started to fight head to head as Goku learned from Dai Shinken how to use his Master Ultra Instinct and to make it go beyond his original power. As Whis and Goku went head to head blow to blow, Goku then went and fought Whis as they were both almost tied and that's when we said let's see who's stronger Whis powered up too as he went to attack Goku Goku caught his attack threw Whis and decked him in the face as they both went and started battle head to head and out of nowhere Goku instantly transitioned behind Whis and he was about to sucker punch him hard a voice from the background said that is enough it was Dai Shinken and that's when the fight ended as Whis and Goku battle came to a draw Dai Shinken sighed and he commanded Goku and said, looks like Goku my training really paid off, you are so powerful, you are even at Whis's level, a little bit more training and you'll be at my level too. And I would love to be as strong as you, there's actually a lot of strong being in this multiverse still. You have a long way to go Goku but I'm very impressed, come back and train whenever you get the chance. Whis on the other hand was so happy and told Goku that, who would have ever thought Goku that you would be as strong as me. When I first saw you, you were just a very arrogant man who just wanted to get stronger and stronger and didn't use his head. But now look at you how much you have matured, I am proud to call you my friend and the fact that you're at my power level too, that's beyond impressive. Dude, thank you Whis but you're still very strong, I had to go all out just to fight you. Whis is the second strongest angel in this multiverse. And knowing that Goku's as strong as Whis got him to start seriously considering just how powerful he has really gotten. Goku, Vegeta and Broly then decided to leave and go back to Earth. While everyone was enjoying their time out, they were all relaxing as Goku is now known as the strongest mortal in the multiverse, everyone was chilling and relaxing but in Planet Namek, a disturbance happened as a very evil foe had entered that planet and he started to attack all the Namekians and try to gather their Dragon Ball. Dende and Piccolo sensed the terror that's happening in Planet Namek as Dende rushed and called Goku to come to Kami's lookout to speak to him. When Goku got there, Dende ran towards Goku as Goku saw Dende was very stressed out and Goku said what happened Dende? Dende said Goku something very bad is happening at my home planet. You mean Planet Namek? Yes. There's some very evil monster who entered there and he's killing all my people and he's trying to steal the Dragon Balls. Hearing that got Goku very upset as Goku said don't worry Dende, leave this to me. I am going to go and find out exactly what's happening and destroy this monster. Vegeta and Broly heard this and they wanted to go with Goku to help him. Goku, Vegeta, Broly all together went and instant transmission right towards Namek. 
Once when they got there, the Grand Elder of the Namek saw Goku and he ran towards Goku and hugged him and said thank you for coming, we really desperately needed your help, please come with me. As he took Goku, Broly and Vegeta inside and told Goku exactly who this being is. He said that this evil foe calls himself Moro and that he is here to collect all the Dragon Balls because he wants to make a wish and that he's seeking to fight strong opponent. I don't know why he entered our planet, what he wants to do with us but he's here to kill every one of us as we're not allowing him to get the Dragon Balls. He then informed Goku that he has the power to sense Dragon Ball. Hearing that got Goku, Vegeta and Broly shook and that's when Vegeta said don't worry Grand Elder, I promise we'll stop this foe once and for all. As Vegeta went outside he started to feel a little sad. Goku went to see what happened to Vegeta and Vegeta said I feel bad for this planet because I remember when I was here during the Frieza time I killed a lot of Namekians and I couldn't repent for that. Kakura leave this to me, I wanna fight this monster and repent for it. You got it buddy, I'm with you guys too. They then got the news that Moro has entered towards another village to steal the Dragon Balls. Once they heard which village it was, Goku, Vegeta and Broly sensed the fighting happening and they went and made their way towards Moro. Once when they got there, Moro saw Goku and said, It's you, the Saiyan I've been looking for. Goku's like, huh? Me? Yes, I heard that you are the strongest Saiyan in this multiverse. I heard this news after this tournament of power happened. And that's when Vegeta went and transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue and attacked Moro and said, Huh, buddy you got the wrong Saiyan. The only one who's the strongest Saiyan in this multiverse is right in front of you. As Vegeta went and started to attack Moro recklessly. Vegeta then realized that his attack won't phase him as he's getting weaker and weaker. He then went and went all out by transforming himself into a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. <laughs> Using his new power, after the help with Whis, Vegeta went and attacked Moro, but Moro still managed to dodge Vegeta's attack as Vegeta felt that his key was being drained from his body. Broly got mad and transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan Blue As he went, decked Moro and started to beat the shit out of him, but slowly slowly Broly too had been losing his stamina and key as Moro decked Broly and Broly fell right to the ground as Moro said wow this Saiyan has a lot of key. Moro then was getting stronger as he was draining Vegeta and Broly's key. Goku was watching the battle as he was observing Moro and he sensed that Moro can steal your key from you. Vegeta fell down. Broly fell down and they both went to the ground as they were very weak. Moro then came and said it's time to finish this off, you guys are too weak. He went and made his finishing move but Vegeta's eyes went silver as Vegeta has again achieved his ultra instinct. After a very long time, Vegeta was finally able to achieve his ultra instinct being pushed to his limit. Once when Vegeta went ultra instinct, he then went and managed to dodge all of Moro's attack but at the same time Vegeta's key was getting drained as ultra instinct Vegeta couldn't stand a chance against Moro. Moro had trouble draining Vegeta's key and Goku sensed that this guy is having trouble draining Ultra Instinct Key. As Vegeta slowly went try to deck Moro, but Moro managed to go and steal all his key as Vegeta lost his Ultra Instinct power and fell right to the ground. 
Moro looked at Goku and said, You're next. Goku smiled and went Super Saiyan Blue, only to test his theory. Moro tried to attack Goku and he managed to drain some of Goku's key. As Goku threw an attack at him and Goku got his key drained. And that's when Goku went he smiled and said, I knew it. You have the ability to steal people's key. I've been observing a battle this whole time. Oh yeah? So then you know that fighting me is futile. You have lost. Not really. As Goku went and screamed. <laughs> Goku transformed to his Master Ultra Instinct. Seeing that got Moro scared and wondering just what the hell is this and what's his new power. Moro then went and tried to attack Goku but Goku dodged all his attack as Goku went deck Moro right in his stomach and he fell right to the ground. Moro then went and grabbed Goku but realized that his key wasn't being absorbed and said just what the hell is this? Why is your key not being absorbed? My theory was right. You have the ability to steal anyone's key, but Ultra Instinct Master Form is beyond your limits to steal. You cannot steal this key as Goku went and powered up and started to beat the shit out of Moro. Moro then laughed. Moro then got scared and said no way as he tried to escape Planet Namek. Ultra Instinct Goku instant transmission right in front of him, decked him hard to the ground and said it's time to end you once and for all. Goku powered up the Kamehameha wave and killed Moro right there, right there. Goku then went and used the Namek's Dragon Ball and told him to wish back everyone that Moro has killed and all the Namekian has came back to life and they all thanked Goku and they all looked up to Goku like if he's some savior god. Goku then said no don't you thank me it is our duty to help the weak as Goku gave Vegeta and Broly the sense of being and they all smiled and laughed and said just how powerful is your damn master ultra instinct that's not fair. They all went back to Earth all happy and then they thanked Goku for his help. Once when Goku got back to Earth, the Omni King has requested Goku to come back and talk to him as he needs to speak with Goku something very important. Goku instant transmission towards the Omni King and went there and that's when the Omni King himself has came to Goku and said, Goku congratulations on just how powerful you have become, I have, I have saw your battle with Moro. He was actually one in full I was planning to kill, but you did it for me. Thank you so much. Anytime, Zenny. Now tell me, what's up? There is a very evil Saiyan whose power level is over 10 quadrillion. And that this Saiyan is too strong that he might even be at your level. What? That this Saiyan is not alone. He's with another very powerful foe. His name is Heart. My plan was to kill this Saiyan myself, but I want you to do it instead, Goku. Save this universe and kill this Saiyan as he is planning to kill all the multiverse that comes in his way. How powerful is he? He is close to your ultra instinct. And that's when Goku got nervous and excited to fight him and Zeno said his name is Cumber and that he has come back to kill all the Saiyan and all the living people. He has a goal to kill everyone that comes in his way. Leave this to me, I'll go and stop Cumber once and for all. I'm still waiting for you to come back to train with me. Why don't you train me right now so we can have a little quick training session. The training has begun as Cumber has entered Universe 7 and decided to go make his way towards each planet and kill everyone with Heart's order. Far inside the galaxy of Universe 7, one planet has just been destroyed as if there were two people going planet to planet and destroying them. Beerus sense that his planets are being destroyed inside his universe and as a destroyer it's his job to destroy planet so he told Whis to let's go and investigate and see who is behind this explosion. Once when Whis and Beerus got there he saw a purple skin color man standing next to a huge man in chain. Beerus then said who was responsible for this? My name is Fu. And your beer is the destroyer, isn't that right? Shut up and answer me. Are you the one responsible for this? If you continue to stall, I'll destroy you where you stand. Hmm, hasty I see, huh? Is that so? 
You're not even strong enough to do anything to me. <laughs> Don't challenge me, Fu. As Fu went and punched Beerus. Beerus got back up and decked Fu hard and went right in front of him and said, It's time for you to die. As Beerus used his Hakai and he killed Fu right there. Seeing that Fu died, it did not bother the man in shackles and he flew to the next planet that was right in front of them. And he used his power to search as we saw that this man is actually searching for someone and when he saw that no one was on this planet, the man then went and used his eyes as an attack came from his eyes and the entire planet exploded. Beerus saw that and came in front of him and said, So you're the partner of this fool guy and you just destroyed a planet. That's not your job to do so. And therefore your punishment is, you will have to suffer the same death as Fu. <laughs> you want to die where you stand? If not, get lost. I don't have time for weaklings. How dare you speak to a destroyer like that? You shall die right here. As Beerus went and used Hakai, but the man in shackles went and broke his chain, caught the blast, and he dispersed of Beerus's Hakai with his hand. Beerus saw that and got impressed and said, "Well, well, well. Seems like you're not that weak after all." Hmm. I have to thank you, Beerus. After you killed Fu, it set me free, and these magical chain was a bond to Fu and now that he's dead I am free free to do whatever I like and now the terror has begun as I Cumber the strongest Saiyan in this multiverse is going to make you his first prey Cumber went and decked Beerus hard in his face as Beerus got up and tried to attack Cumber but his tag did not phase Cumber Cumber then said remember my name you fought well, Destroyer, as Cumber went in front of Beerus and started to beat the shit out of him and he went and ripped Beerus' arms out. Cumber went and killed Beerus with a blast. Beerus died right there and Cumber saw Whis and he went to try to deck Whis but Whis was brought back towards the Omni King. Once when Whis got there, Whis saw the Omni King right in front of him as he bowed right down towards him. After when a destroyer dies, the angel returns right back to the Omni King. They wait for the next destroyer to come up so they can be the guidance towards the destroyer. As Zeno told Whis that I knew about this evil Saiyan and that he'll be taken care of very soon by my best warrior. Oh, that's amazing your highness. May I ask, who is that person? As I never saw him before. No one has ever seen him. He is so amazing and he's so strong. You have no idea. He is someone that is actually the strongest in this multiverse and that I made sure to appoint him as my successor. But don't tell anyone about him as you know some Saiyans will hear that there's a warrior stronger than them and they would want to have the chance to fight him. <gasps> of course your majesty, especially from Goku. If he learns about this warrior, it's over then. He's gonna non-stop try to harass you to give him the name of this warrior. Before anything, we then saw Goku has now emerged from the room with Dai Shinken as Goku has completed his training. We saw Goku and he got up as he sensed Goku's power has now gotten a lot higher compared to his own. We smiled and said, Oh my god, Goku, I can see your power is now stronger than mine. Of course, Goku has a lot of potential and I made sure to help him to bring it out. With our train that is Goku, he managed to even surpass you now Whis. <laughs> Thanks guys! And Whis, what are you doing here? And how's Lord Beerus? Hmm, I'm afraid to tell you Goku, the reason why I'm here is because Lord Beerus has died. Someone killed him. W what What do you mean he's been killed? Who killed him? It's this evil Saiyan Goku. He calls himself Cumber. Goku was really upset that Beerus died and wanted to go and end Cumber's life even more. Zeno then told Goku to go and kill Cumber. As now your training is done, it's time for you to go and start your mission 
and Dai Shinkin told Whis to go aid Goku in this journey and that he wants Whis to help Goku defeat Cumber. Goku and Whis went in intertransmission towards Earth so they can go get Vegeta and Broly to aid them in this fight. Once when they got there, Vegeta saw Goku came and greeted Goku said what's up but Goku told Vegeta and Broly that Lord Beerus has died by an evil Saiyan named Cumber. As they were all upset that Beerus has died and now they were all determined to go and kill Cumber since the Omni King wants that to happen. Goku then went and tried to trace Cumber's key as he sensed a very evil key coming far from a planet. Goku did instant transmission with Broly, Vegeta and Whis towards that planet. Once when they got there, they saw that this planet had a lot of change everywhere and it was a very weird planet and the atmosphere was very tough to breathe on and very scary. Whis then said that this planet is known as Prison Planet and before anything can happen, Cumber came right in front of Goku and the rest of the warriors and he said Son Goku I was looking for you and now I finally found you what do you want why are you sh killing everyone and why did you kill Beerus <laughs> that man was nothing but a waste man he died so fast and that just shows us how weak your universe is you guys are nothing but weakling I want to be the strongest in this multiverse. I want to kill you, Goku. Hearing just how strong you were inside this some stupid tournament of yours, I want to go and kill you and be known as the strongest in this universe. Did you really kill Lord Beerus? <laughs> what I just say, that weakling god was no match for me. I, Cumber, the one true Saiyan King, the strongest in this multiverse. As Cumber went and powered up and they saw Cumber's power level was at 42 sex decillion. Sensing how strong he was, Vegeta went and transformed himself to Super Saiyan Blue Evolution. As Goku saw that he has gotten a lot stronger, Vegeta went and attacked Cumber. Cumber went and decked him so hard to the ground as Vegeta got up and punched him but it did not phase Cumber. Broly saw this and he went and charged at Cumber at his legendary Super Saiyan power. He went and picked Cumber up, but Cumber saw Broly and said, Hmm, you weakling Saiyan, you have a lot of potential I see, but you're nothing compared to the great Cumber. As Cumber went and kneed Broly to the ground, Goku charged with Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 50. As he went and hit Cumber so hard in the stomach and Cumber was sent flying, 10 meters away, but out of nowhere he came back so fast, grabbed Goku and threw him to the ground. As Vegeta, Broly and Goku got up and they were standing beside each other and they powered up. They said that if you want to fight us, you're going to fight us as a team battle. Cumber got very annoyed and he went and said it's time to show you guys my true power. He transformed himself into his golden grade ape. Thanks to him having a tail, Cumber has the ability to go to his golden grade ape form and once when he went to his grade ape form, Cumber's power level increased massively as Goku, Vegeta and Broly started to shiver as they sensed just how powerful his grade ape form was. His power level came down to 880 septendecillion. Sensing how powerful his power level was, Vegeta went and used his autonomous ultra instinct where his power level was at 900 sex decillion. Broly went and transformed himself to a legendary Super Saiyan Blue having him at 1000 sex decillion and Goku went and he said it's time to go all out. He went and powered up straight to his Master Ultra Instinct having Goku's power level be at 580 septen decillion. With Goku's massive power level and Vegeta's and Broly as a team, they were able to go and manage to hold their own against Cumber. As they all went and they attacked Cumber, Vegeta went and threw a final flash, Broly threw an eraser cannon, and Goku threw a Kamehameha wave and it hit Cumber very hard. Cumber fell to the ground 
and that's when Cumber saw his chest was glowing and it was pumping very fast as he said behold wiggling Saiyans you are now going to see my true power as they saw the whole room was shaking planet prison was all dark as Cumber began to transform as they saw the great a power has shrunk down to a size of a human and that it became a very large man and he went and screamed once when the smoke cleared they saw that Cumber was no longer a great ape his hair grew very long and it was very sharp as he was inside his super saiyan 3 state and Cumber's power level jumped from 800 septendecillion to over 380 octodecillion as Goku was very afraid and Vegeta and Broly got scared seeing just how powerful this man is and that they have never sensed a power like this at over 350 octodecillion and that's when Cumber said this is my true power the real power of a Saiyan God this is not good he's even more stronger than me in this state what do you mean Kakarot you're saying that bastard is stronger than your Master Ultra Instinct? How did you get this strong? Answer me! <laughs> Who do you think was the one to fight the first Super Saiyan God? It was me. I killed all of them. And from there I stole everyone's power by killing them. How can you steal people's power? All thanks to my master. He's the one who gave me the ability to steal power and he made me this strong. My master trained me to become this powerful son Goku for the sole purpose to kill you. Your master wants me dead and he knows me? You are now going to die Goku as you will now see the true Saiyan King, the strongest ever right in front of you. As Cumber went, decked Vegeta so hard that he fell right to the ground and fainted. He one shot at Broly and he went to Master Ultra Instinct Goku and he started to attack Goku. As Goku was too slow for Cumber's new power so he couldn't dodge it and Cumber went and managed to beat up Goku really badly. Goku was trying to hold his own but Cumber was getting stronger while fighting him and that his and therefore he got the upper hand over Master Ultra Instinct Goku. Goku then said shit this is the first time now I know how it feels to be weak against the opponents. <laughs> You've seen better days Goku, but I have no choice. As Goku went tried to power up, Cumber went and decked him so hard in the face, Goku went and fell to the ground. While they're fighting, Whis got a message from Dai Shinken to go and protect Goku and the rest of the warriors and that if they fail, Zeno will go and send his best man to the battlefield. Whis was very curious to know who is the Omni King's best man, the successor of the Omni King, as he said he will do whatever it takes to defeat Cumber. Master Ultra Instinct Goku then said, Now I understand how you're able to kill Beerus so easily. You're really amazing. You're the strongest opponent I have ever fought. Even though the odds are stank against me, I'm still so excited to fight you. Of course. I am you pathetic Saiyan, I'm the one true king of all Saiyan and after I behead you, I will be the strongest in this multiverse. Cumber went and punched Goku right in the face hard as Master Ultra Instinct Goku couldn't see the attack coming and he fell right to the ground as Cumber went towards Goku and stomped on him and started to beat the shit out of Goku. Goku couldn't do anything and therefore he lost his master ultra instinct power as Cumber went threw Goku to the ground and Goku fainted. Cumber then went to deliver the finishing blow as he said, Son Goku you did put up a good fight but you're nothing compared to me. Die! As he threw a blast at Goku. Once when the blast was about to hit Goku, Whis came in front of the blast and dispersed of it. And that's when Whis said, You'll be fighting me as of now. Whis went and powered up to his full power. No one has ever seen Whis at his full power but his power level went over 200 octodecillion and kept growing. Whis went and flew right in front of Cumber and punched him hard as he flew 19 meters away. Cumber came right back up to Whis really fast 
and he decked Whis very hard as both of them went head to head and attacking each other and both of their power clashed with one another. Whis was holding his own against Cumber as Cumber was very impressed and said, You're not bad Angel, but you're nothing compared to me and you will die by me as Cumber went and powered up and started to have the upper hand. Cumber then went and started to beat the crap out of Weez as Weez 2 was no match for Cumber. Cumber threw Weez to the ground and went and threw a blast at Weez as the blast went and hit Weez head on and Weez lost all of his power as he fell to the ground. Cumber then laughed and said I'm the strongest. He went and powered up a blast to destroy the planet but out of nowhere the Omni King has appeared. When Weez opened his eyes he said I'm sorry your highness I failed. Don't worry, Weez, you did good, but now it's time for my successor to beat him. Goku, my successor, go kill Cumber. Use your full power. As we saw Master Ultra Instinct Goku got up and he screamed. Goku went and used his full power as he transformed into his beyond Master Ultra Instinct. Goku's power level was now at over 800 octo decillion as we saw that he was lost of words that Goku, the Saiyan that wanted to train with him and was so arrogant of getting stronger is now the successor of Zeno? As we had tears in his eyes and said I'm so proud of you Goku. Beyond Master Ultra Instinct Goku went right in front of Cumber and decked him so hard to the ground. Cumber tried to attack Goku but he couldn't land a single hit as Goku went, decked him so hard in his stomach that it pierced to his stomach and he kicked Cumber and Cumber went right to his knees and that's when Goku said, I am the one and only king of all Saiyan, Son Goku, the successor of Zeno. As Goku went, powered up a Kamehameha wave and he killed Cumber. Zeno was very amazed with Goku as he took Goku and everyone and went right back to Earth. Vegeta and Brawly were healed and they heard what Goku did as Goku was talking to Zeno and Zeno left. Whis came up to Goku and said, Well done Goku, who would have ever imagined you the successor? Wait, that means now you're my boss, Goku? <laughs> yes Whis, that makes me your boss very soon. And that's when Whis came to Vegeta and said, Vegeta, as of today, I want to appoint you as Universe 7 Destroyer. Vegeta then said yes, and now he has become the Destroyer of Universe 7. As Vegeta and Bulma and his family went and moved towards Beerus' planet and is now called Vegeta's planet. Brawly on the other hand, became Goku's right hand man, as all of them were happy and they were celebrating their victory. Far in the end of the universe and Universe 7. A crack appeared on a crystal shell and once it opened it shattered into a million of pieces as a man came out of that crystal. It is said that this man was trapped inside that crystal for over 10,000 decades and has now finally been released and this man had nothing but vengeance in his mind as he went to another planet. Meanwhile, Goku was at the Omni King's palace training to get stronger so he could make himself worthy of being the next Zeno. Goku, you really are getting stronger and stronger. <laughs> Thanks, Zenny. What I don't understand is the more I train and get stronger, I still can't catch up to Dai Shinken as he's like a complete different level. Don't worry, Goku, but here, I want to give you something. As Zeno went and put his hand on Goku's head and a white light appeared on Goku's head. Zeno was giving Goku some light energy. Listen Goku, this will not affect you at all. It will affect you once you're ready. Huh? Ready for what Zeni? Mm, for that, you have to find out soon Goku. <laughs> Goku kept sensing some disturbance happening in Universe 7. As Daishinkin looked at Goku and asked him, What is the matter Goku? You seem quite distracted about something. Even during your training today, you weren't yourself. I don't know, I just get this bad feeling. Daishinken, can't you not feel it? 
something went wrong inside this universe. It feels like a very, I don't know how to say it, like a very cold, dark energy. I can't sense nothing, Goku. But I'll look into it and tell you more about it once I get some more information, that is. Kakarot! Kakarot! Is that you, Vegeta? Yes! Please come to my world. There's something very big that happened. Goku went and took Broly with him and he instant transmission towards Vegeta's world. As Vegeta was having a blast living as a destroyer in his own planet while his family was there living with him. Yo, Vegeta! We're here! Oh, hello Goku! It's an honor to see you again! You too, Broly! <laughs> hey, what's up, Whis? <clears throat> I hope you're doing well, Whis. Well, good, Goku, and how's your training going? <laughs> it's going good, as you know. Well, Goku, Lord Vegeta would like to see you. Please make your way towards his palace. There's something big that happened. Yeah, I know, I could sense it. Could you sense it too, Whis? I did sense a disturbance, Goku. And that's why I asked Vegeta to tell you to talk to you and ask you more about it. Hmm, you're right. Alright, well I'm off. I'm gonna go see Vegeta. Broly, please stay with me. There's something I need to talk to you about. Goku went and made his way towards Vegeta's palace as he saw Vegeta was very intense, Boma and Trunks were scared, and Bola was confused. What happened, Vegeta? <clears throat> hey, Kakarot. And hey, that's Lord Vegeta for you. <laughs> oh yeah? If we're going all formal, then let's not forget that's Omni Kakarot for you. You should be bowing t before me. Oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> hey, forget all this formal shit. We're pals. What's up, bro? <laughs> it's amazing to see you again, Kakarot. I'm so impressed with how powerful you have gotten. I just still can't wrap my mind around me being a destroyer and you being the Omni King. <laughs> but forget all this, Kakarot. Something I need to catch up with you. What's up? While Vegeta and Goku were talking, Whis was busy with Broly trying to examine the mask of Cumber. As when he died, it came out of his mouth and Whis saw it and Whis picked it up because this mask is not no ordinary mask. Look, look Broly, I called you because there's something very suspicious about this mask. Hmm, this mask, what about it? Oh wait, I seen a couple of angels wear this. Yes Broly, that's why it's disturbance to me. Here's mine. You have one too? This mask was given by the Omni King to all of the 18 angels that live. Since Zeno destroyed Universe 13 and to up to 18, there's only 12 universes. All of us in these 12 universes have our own mask. And what's very suspicious is that this mask is only belongs to Angel because this mask gives them the ability to have full key control. Angel. That comes to one thing, Cumber's master what is one of us from these 12 angels inside this multiverse. Oh shit, you mean to say someone out of the 12 angels trained Cumber for the sole purpose to kill Goku? Yes, I'm afraid that's so. And now, the question is Broly, which one of us angels have this? We cannot trust no one now after finding out that Cumber's master is one of us and that he wants Goku dead. And as you can see, it's not me, my mask is right here. Yeah, we definitely need to tell Goku about this as soon as possible. And we need to go investigate further on this. Who is Cumber's master? Damn it, that bastard. I never knew. I kind of suspect that he's too strong, but I never knew an angel was managed to go train him. It's best if I go alone and investigate this. Alright, sounds cool. Listen, Kakarot. As a destroyer here, I felt a disturbance coming in the East Quadrant, and when I went to check it out, it was all ruined. I know, that's why I came here to ask if you know anything about this. Whis and Broly came to Goku and Vegeta, and before they can tell them about what Whis has discovered, out of nowhere, a spaceship crash landed on, on Vegeta's planet, and once when the door opened, two men came out of the spaceship. Goku noticed the key as he was shocked and he knew who they were. Just who the hell are you guys and why are you guys here on this planet? This is a very sacred planet. Answer me before I destroy you where you stand. <laughs> it's been a long time, father. Hmm. Who would have ever thought Vegeta would be my replacement? As it was future Trunks and future Beerus. What the hell? Trunks? What are you doing here? 
And Beerus, you died! Hmm. Did you forget your manners, Vegeta? That's Lord Beerus. <laughs> I think you forgot your manners, Beerus. I'm twice stronger than you, and I'm also destroyed now. Hmm. You're dead in Otherworld, so you can't be the t this timeline, Beerus. That means you are from a different time zone. Yes, we are. Beerus insisted to come here to warn you guys, and that's actually the reason why we're here. To warn us about what, Trunks? Actually, the true reason why I'm here is for you. I came to talk to you about something that happened. Did you send some disturbance, Goku? Yes, we did. That's why I'm here to find out what's happening. <laughs> Goku, that disturbance you felt was actually a deity that was released from his seal. What do you mean? And how do you know about this, Beerus? This deity is very dangerous. He can destroy an entire universe with his power. No mortal can even lay a hand on him. He's too damn strong. Beerus tried. He managed to almost even kill him. He even managed to kill you, Weez. What? He's that strong? Wow! Only you can stop him, Goku. You are the one, only one among the gods and angels that's able to use Ultra Instinct to another level. Please, Goku, stop him. This man is so evil. I will. I'll do everything in my power to stop him. I can't believe you guys are from a timeline that has been destroyed by him. Yes, he has destroyed everyone inside the timeline we're from. And that's why he came here. And he goes by the name called the Great Zalama. Zalama? Hmm. Also, the main thing I'm here, Goku, is to warn you that someone bigger threat is out there than Zalama. And I'm actually very scared to even mention his name. His name is... Before Trunks and Beerus can tell Goku who they were, they were instantly killed on a spot by a Hakai. Seeing what happened got Goku and Whis very upset. Hmm, now I have to go and do my investigation. Whis has left to Universe 1 as Goku and the everyone else decide to go to back to the Omni King Palace to talk to Dai Shinkin and to find out more about who is Zalama. Once when they got there, they have informed Dai Shinkin everything that they know and then that's when Dai Shinkin looked at him and said, Oh no, it can't be. That's the name of the Super Dragon Ball's Dragon God. What? No, that's not it. Allow me to explain everyone. Zalama is actually the creator of the Super Dragon Balls. Since the Super Dragon Balls didn't have a name, he went by the name of his creator, which is Zalama. So Zalama is actually the Namekian that created the Super Dragon Ball. He was very dangerous. He had so much power in his hand that he couldn't control it and it took over him. My father managed to fight him and even steal him away for good. He was that powerful and I cannot even destroy him. Wait, what? You're the Omni King and you cannot kill Zalama? No, Goku, I can't. Because he used the Super Dragon Balls to make himself be irresistible to any of my attacks. He cannot kill me and I cannot kill him. But his plan is to take over my throne by trying to kill all the universe and make me give up my throne to hurt him. His power level is at 900 Octodecillion. He's stronger than all of you combined. Goku, you're the only one that can kill him. If you don't kill him now and he gets his true power, you'll never be able to kill him. Oh no! Don't worry Zenny, I will kill Zalom before he can reach that true power. If his plan is to take over your throne and kill all the multiverse, I will not allow that. Hmm, he's in this planet called Planet Trinity. That planet is actually inside the South Quadrant. Goku then went, took Vegeta and Broly, and he instant transmission towards Planet Trinity while Omni King and Dai Shinkin were watching them and came up with a plan of how to seal him away. Once when Goku got there, he saw that the planet was surrounded by the Super Dragon Balls as they made their way towards Universe 7 and they're all surrounding that planet. And then he saw a bunch of people worshipping Zalama as he arrived and all his people got up and said, All hail Zalama! All hail Zalama! Zalama then looked at his people and said, Hmm, don't worry guys, I have been finally released by my seal. 
That dumbass thought he can't steal me? Steal the great Zalama away? <laughs> I'm back. He was wrong. And we're going to rule this multiverse. We will be known throughout the entire universe as everyone will crumble in fear from me. As everyone screamed with celebration and said, All hail Zalama! All hail Zalama! Now, the first thing I'm going to do is destroy Universe 9 and all their people. As we need to send a message to the Omni King and tell him who's back. As Zalama went to power up an attack, he was about to instant transmission towards Universe 9, but then Goku came and decked him right in the face as he fell to the ground. Goku was already inside his autonomous ultra instinct state. Zalama, Zalama looked at Goku and said, Oh, it's you, son Goku. As his man Bill and Chris went to kill Goku, Vegeta went towards Bill to, and he started to fight him and Broly flew towards Chris and those two fought with each other while Goku confronted Zalama. I am Zalama, the king of all deities. Hmm, I know who you are. That's why I'm here. I'm here to stop you, Zalama. <laughs> Goku, I knew we would fight. You are the great Goku who managed to kill Cumber. Huh? You know Cumber? Of course, I do. I know him very well because he's also one of my acquaintances. What do you mean? Me and Cumber have the same master, and we had a goal from day one to kill you, Goku. Once I kill you and you're dead, the Omni King will die next, and from there, I'll be the one to rule this entire multiverse, and I'll destroy all universe except this. <laughs> I won't allow it! As Goku went, picked Zalama up, and Zalama caught Goku, and he punched Goku hard in the face, and those two men started to go at it. Goku fell to the ground, and when he got up, right next to him, Broly and Vegeta appeared as they managed to kill their opponent. Vegeta went full power, and Broly went and transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan Blue, and Goku then went and used his Master Ultra Instinct. But seeing that Goku went to Master Ultra Instinct, Vegeta went and used his Ultra Instinct, and now those three went to confront Zalama, and they all went to attack him at once. Zalama got overpowered by them, and he was overwhelmed by their power as Vegeta went, kicked him hard in the stomach, Broly kneed him in the back, and Goku went and decked him in the face, and they all beat the shit out of Zalama, as Zalama was no match for a Master Ultra Instinct Goku. <laughs> wow Goku, you really are strong. But you know what? I'm not done yet. I'm now at my peak. Thank you for fighting me, Goku. It's over! Hmm. Why don't you first show me what you're made out of? So far, you did nothing but talk. <laughs> Foolish mortal. Now behold, as Zalama went and he started to scream, Goku saw that the Super Dragon Balls were going in a tornado-like form and they all went and summoned the Super Dragon. Once when the Super Dragon came out, he went and fly right towards Zalma and went right inside his mouth. It's like if Zalma went and ate the Super Dragon. Once when he ate him, he went and he screamed and he powered up and transformed himself to his ultimate form. As everyone sensed the dangerous power level of Zalma. Once when the cloud cleared, Zalama said, Behold my true power as Zalama. I have managed to fuse with the Super Dragon and they became one. His power level came to be at 900 Octodecillion. Kakarot, we can't toy around with him. Let's go full power. As Vegeta ran and used his full power and making him be at 809 Quindecillion, Broly came and went and transformed to his Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Legendary Super Saiyan, making him at 909 Septendecillion. And Goku went and powered up to his full as they all three went and attacked as a group. It's futile to fight me, you're too weak. As he went and beat up Vegeta and Broly very hard, 
And from there, those two were knocked out cold within seconds. Goku saw that and was very impressed with his power as he said, Why are you doing this? Why do you want to kill everyone? <sighs> that was always my plan from the beginning. <laughs> and now, you can do nothing to stop me, Goku. As he went and grabbed Goku and he started to beat the shit out of Goku. Master Ultra and Goku couldn't even land a single hit on full power Zalama as Zalama's new power was too much for him to handle. He went and non-stop hit Goku in the face, threw him to the ground. Goku was all sore as Zalama came right in front of him, grabbed him by the neck and said, I must thank you Goku, you are so naive. Thanks to you for killing Cumber, ever since you did that your true power, it was strong enough to break my seal, but I got, I must admit, how can this power break my seal, you're too weak, unless I'm so strong. I'm not responsible for a monster to be created. I did what I need to do to stop Cumber. You know I'm a god of the god, and I'm the strongest one to exist. Why do you think Zeno destroyed universe 13 to 18? Because he feared that I was plotting something to overrule him, and I made myself irresistible to his attack. He can't even kill me. Zalama threw Goku to the ground as Goku's head was facing down and he was remembering all the universes that were counting on him. <laughs> you screwed up big time Zalama by trying to fight me. Now behold the true power of my ultra instinct. He transformed into his Beyond Ultra Instinct. Zalama saw Goku's power and he got very surprised to see that a mortal is able to wield such power. How the hell are you able to wield that much power? Answer me! <laughs> you dumbass! Kakarot is not an ordinary mortal. Kakarot is the next Omni King! Kakarot! Kill that bastard! You see this? This is the power of an Ultra Instinct that went beyond its form. As Goku ran and fought Zalma and both of their power clashed with one another. While they were fighting, Zeno has arrived and he's to the scene as he saw Goku beating the shit out of Zalama. <laughs> you guys, that's why I made him my successor. He's the only one able to do this to Zalama. As Goku dodged all of Zalama's attack, as Zalama's attack couldn't even land a single hit on Beyond Ultra Instinct Goku. Shit! Why are you so strong? Ah, now die, all of you! As Zalama went and powered up a huge blast, it was strong enough to destroy Universe 7 as he went and threw it at Goku and then a huge blast happened. Once when the smoke cleared, everyone saw that Beyond Master Ultra and Goku caught Zalama's attack with one hand and he managed to disperse the attack. Zalama was completely speechless seeing that that his attack that could destroy an entire universe was dispersed by Goku like if it was nothing as Goku went and powered himself up making his power level be at 200 Novam Decillion. Goku said my turn as, the, as he went and powered up a huge Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Zalama. Zalama was not able to overcome Goku's Kamehameha wave as he got hit by the attack and he died. But before dying, Zalama then said, Ugh, Ah shit, I failed! 
Zykar, come and destroy what I failed. Go and kill Son Goku. And that's where Zalama died by Goku's Kamehameha way. Goku went back to normal base, everyone was very happy and they celebrated. Zeno came to Goku and thanked him and he was very happy. While they were all celebrating, Broly came to Goku and asked Goku if he can train him as Broly wants to go and learn to use the Ultra Instinct since he's going to be Goku's right hand man. Goku said yes and their training will begin the next day. Vegeta then went back to his planet and he spent some time with his family as Goku and Broly went back to their fa family and they enjoyed some time before the training began. While everyone spending some time with the loved ones, Whis has now finished investigating Universe 1 to 7 Angels and now he has Universe 8 to 12 Angels left to find out which one of these Angels are Cumber's master. And he made his way towards Universe 8. While all that's happening, Someone was sitting down watching Goku fight Zalama and Cumber as he saw beyond Ultra Instinct Goku and he got mad and said, How long would it take to kill this bastard? Zykar, you're next. Cumber and Zalama has failed me. You're the one now to go and show your master your power by bringing me Goku's head. Yes, master. As you wish, I'll come back with his head. <laughs> very well. That time is coming very short. Once Goku dies, the Omni King will fall too, and from there, I'll erase all angels and I'll have the throne. The time of me being the ruler is coming very quick. Beerus and Trunks almost gave up my look identity, and that's why they died in the spot. And now it's time for me to continue to plot this so I can rule the universe. Master, do you want me to just kill Goku, or do you want me to also kill Vegeta? Hmm, good question, Zykar. I need you to kill Goku, but if Vegeta happens to be in the way, kill him too. Also, kill Broly. He is going to be a problem. Yes, Master, I won't fail you like how those pathetic Cumber and Zalama did. You know I went to a great deal to get you to make you my student and train you for this day. You need to kill Son Goku? Don't disappoint me, Zykar. Yes, Master, I know what you did for me and I won't fail you, I promise. Zykar is a Saiyan from Universe 6. He is actually a Saiyan from the future as he is the son of Keba and Khalifa. His master came to his universe and took him from his timeline and brought him to this timeline and made him this strong and brainwashed him making Zykar his pet and therefore Zykar's one and only mission was to kill son Goku. Zykar then left and made his way towards Universe 7. While that was happening, Goku was training with Broly inside the Omni King's world as Broly was getting stronger ever since he requested Goku to help him achieve Ultra Instinct. While they were training, Zeno came to Goku and said, Goku, it's time, we need to get going. The meeting is going to begin very soon and is being held in Universe 11. Oh, uh, yes, I forgot, I'm coming, Zeni. Goku then went and brought Broly along with him as they got ready and they, and they left Zeno's planet and made their way towards Universe 11. Once when they got there, Zeno began his talk as they were discussing about the recent event and as the meeting finished, Zeno then informed everyone that by the way guys, as you can see Goku will be the next in line to be the Omni King. It's time for me to pass down my throne and give it to my successor as he will be next in line. Everyone clapped for Goku and congratulated him. Goku saw Jiren was there. As he went towards Jiren and Jiren smiled and said, Hmm, son Goku, it's nice to see you again. After the battle, I couldn't stop training and I managed to get stronger as I managed to train with my universe's angel and even overpower him. Wow, Jiren! <laughs> you're stronger than your own angel? That's amazing! Hmm, you're not the only one that's able to master Ultra Instinct, Goku. What do you mean? Do you mean? Yes, I'm able to master it too. Hmm, 
You may be the one to master it just like me, Jaren, but remember one thing, I'm the only one that's able to go beyond it. As they both laughed, and Goku said to Jiren, Once I become the Omni King, I want you to be my right hand man. Brawly is with me and I need someone else. There's gonna be two of you guys. Would you like to be my right hand man, Jiren? Along with Brawly? Wow. That's amazing, Goku. Yes. I'll be honored to be your right hand man. <laughs> awesome! I would love to have you as my right hand man, and therefore, we could together make this entire multiverse a very safe place. Of course, count me in. Alright Jaren, also, why don't you come back to my universe? And we could start having a sparring session with me and even train with Dai Shinkin. You mean that great angel out of all the angels? Yup, he is my trainer. Damn, I would love to train by him. Jaren then decided to go to with Goku to train with him in Brawly. While all that was happening, Zykar has made his way towards Universe 7 as he was looking for Goku but he couldn't find Goku anywhere. He then went to pay visit to Vegeta's planet. Once when he got there, Vegeta sensed a very evil presence near his planet and he went to see who it was and he saw it was Zykar. As Vegeta had no idea who he was and asked him, what the hell are you and why are you my planet? Leave, you're not welcome. This is a sacred planet. Hmm, Vegeta, I'm here looking for Goku. Tell me where he is, and I might spare you. But if you fail, ha, I will kill you. Before Zykor could blink, Vegeta came right in front of him, and he used his Hakai to kill Zykor. Zykor was screaming as he was being attacked by the Hakai, and then he looked at Vegeta and laughed and said, Just kidding. As he laughed and he dispersed Vegeta's attack. Vegeta was surprised as he went to punch him and the battle began with Vegeta and Zykor. As they went head to head, Vegeta went and powered up to his full as he started to attack Zykor. Zykor laughed and he decked Vegeta very hard as Vegeta fell and he got right back up and asked, Who the hell are you? <laughs> Sorry, where's my manners, destroyer? Allow me to introduce myself to you. My name is Zykor. I am a Saiyan from the future. The future? <laughs> what is you bastards and always traveling from the future to this timeline? Yes, I am from the future, but I'm different. I'm not time traveler. I'm actually here on a sole purpose to kill Son Goku. And now you too, so that my master can achieve his goal. <laughs> what is with your pathetic master and always trying to get Goku killed? He first sent Cumber and he sent Zalama. I'm guessing that's the master you're talking to. You're talking about two, he's yours? Yep, that's the one. Those two failed, but I'm here. Ha! <laughs> if your master's so strong, why can he come himself and kill Kakarot? <laughs> well, now that I know you want to kill Kakarot, the only thing you'll face is death by my hands. As Vegeta went and powered up, and he used his autonomous ultra instinct. Once he used his Ultra Instinct, Vegeta went and decked Zykar hard, as Zykar didn't see him coming. Trunks saw that and he was cheering for his father as Vegeta was kicking Zykar's ass. Zykar got up and smiled and said, You're very strong, but not enough. As he went and punched Vegeta very hard as he fell to the ground. Trunks kept cheering for his father and that got Zykar very annoyed as he went and threw a blast to kill Trunks. Vegeta saw that and he ran right in front of Trunks and he managed to block the attack. Once he saw Zykar did that, Vegeta got so angry as he started to glow and started to talk in anger and said, You bastard! No one, no one can touch my son! You will pay! As Vegeta screamed and he began to transform. Seeing that someone tried to hurt his family pushed Vegeta beyond his limit and after so long, Vegeta finally transformed and he mastered 
his Ultra Instinct. As he went to his Master Ultra Instinct form for the first time. While that was happening, Daishigen has contacted Goku and said, Goku, there's a huge problem. Something's happening on Vegeta's planet. Some Saiyan, according to him from a future, has entered there looking for you and he's trying to kill Vegeta as we speak. Vegeta doesn't stand a chance. What? No way! I'm coming! There's no way I'm gonna let Vegeta die. As Goku went, an instant transmission towards Vegeta with Broly. And once when they got there, they saw that Vegeta was inside his Master Ultra Instinct form as he grabbed Zykar and said, No one ever dares to touch my family! As Vegeta went and beat the shit out of Zykar. Zykor then went and tried to attack Vegeta, but he dodged all of Zykor's attack and he threw him a big bang attack, killing Zykor off. Goku saw and screamed as with joy as he was very happy that Vegeta achieved Master Ultra Instinct. Vegeta then came to Goku as they all smiled and said, Took you long enough, Kakarot, but I managed to take care of the job and I achieved this form. Very soon I'll be able to go beyond just like you. <laughs> Stop dreaming, Vegeta. You and I both know that'll never happen. But again, man, I'm, I must say, I'm proud. You could use Master Ultra Instinct? Wow, Vegeta! Who would have ever thought that? Hmm. <clears throat> well, guys, I have a surprise for you, too. Huh? What are you talking about, Brawly? Brawly then went and he focused all his energy as Brawly was complete calm and his eyes glowed silver. Brawly, too, managed to achieve Ultra Instinct. As Vegeta was so shocked and Goku said, <laughs> Why are you shocked Vegeta? After all, he was training with me the whole time. While they were all celebrating and happy, out of nowhere, Zykar got up and he screamed as Vegeta failed to kill him. And he began to transform into his final form, making his power level be at 200 November Decillion. Zykor then saw Goku and said, Ah, Goku! I finally found you, how amazing that both Goku and Vegeta are here to die by my hands. Who the hell are you and what do you want from me? Hmm. I'm Zykor Goku, I'm here from the future to kill you because I've been ordered by my master. Tch, why I'm not surprised. This master of yours keeps sending you guys to kill me because he's too weak to challenge me himself. Ha! Huh. You're not worth his time Goku. That's why he didn't come to you. Now die! As Goku and Zykar went and hit each other, Vegeta and Broly came to help as they all attacked Zykar together. Zykar got mad and he punched Vegeta hard in the face as Vegeta's new Master Ultra Instinct form was no match for Zykar's new power. Broly tried to use his Ultra Instinct but Zykar went and knocked him hard to the ground, leaving just Goku and him to face each other one on one. Zykar then went and headbutted Goku very fast as he went and started to beat up Goku and said, Once I'm done with you Goku, I'm going to rip your head out and show it to your family. And then from there, I'm going to kill them and rip all their heads out and bring all of your family's head with yours to my master. Oh shit, you just crossed the line kid. You should never have said that to me. As Goku went and he transformed to his beyond Master Ultra Instinct. Zykor sensed Goku's power as he started to feel a little nervous but kept telling himself it's okay, your master trained you to be stronger than Goku. Goku and Zykor fight began. As every blow they land to each other, the universe, the multiverse kept crumbling as Zykor was evenly matched with beyond Master Ultra Instinct Goku. Damn, you're very strong. <laughs> you dumbass. I know all about this form of yours. I saw it with my master when he used it to fight Cumber and Zalaman. As Zykar went and started to beat the crap out of Goku non-stop, punching him in the face, in the gut, in the back. Goku then grabbed him 
Goku then grabbed his fist and decked him hard to the ground. As Goku looked at him and said, Hmm, you might have seen this form throughout your cameras while you're spying on me, but what you haven't seen is now after my training. As I was toying with you this whole time, you're finished, Zykar, you're too weak. Goku went and powered up, making his power level be at 800 November Decillion. Zykar went to attack Goku but he couldn't even land a single blow at Goku. As Zykar went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he threw it at Goku. Goku caught it with his finger. Goku caught it with one finger and he managed to disperse the attack and said, You rookie, this is my move. How'd you learn this? <laughs> my master taught me it or how? By watching you! As Goku went into his offensive mode and he turned the tables as he started to beat up Zykar really badly. With every blow Goku landed on him, Zykar's body was crumbling and his bones were shredding to pieces as Goku was going overboard and non-stop attacking Zykar. Zykar couldn't even touch Goku and was surprised that they have underestimated Goku big time. Goku then said, now, you're dead. He punched him so hard making Zykar flew 10 meters away. Goku then instant traps him right in front of him and he needs Zykar's head so hard that he actually managed to behead Zykar. As Zykar died right there, and to make sure he doesn't come back, Goku went and threw a Kamehameha wave at him, killing him for good. Goku then went back to his normal base form. While celebrating, Zeno came to Goku with Jiren and congratulated Goku on his fight as Vegeta was surprised to see Jiren. As Vegeta looked and said, Jiren? What are you doing here? Vegeta, don't tell me you're now a destroyer? <laughs> hey, stop laughing! You may have been stronger than me in the tournament of power, Jaren, but I managed to become now a god, and I'm also able to use Master Ultra Instant. <laughs> me too, Vegeta. As Vegeta and Jaren decide to have a spar with one another to see where they stand, Jaren went and one shot of Vegeta to the ground, as Vegeta didn't stand a chance towards Jaren. Goku and Broly saw as Vegeta got up and they all laughed together. While all that was happening, Whis has now finished with his investigation. As he went to Zeno's world to tell Zeno about this, but he saw Zeno wasn't there. Whis went around all the universes, but no one was Cumber's master, as the rest of them had their mask. Whis then right there realized that he has managed to ask every angel for their mask except for one and he noticed that this angel didn't have a mask as Weez has now identified who is Cumber's master. Once when Weez was about to leave the Zeno's planet towards to find him, he heard a laughing coming from behind and when Weez turned around, he got stabbed right in the stomach as Weez was coughing up blood and when he looked up, he saw it was Dai Shinkin. As he stabbed Weez and said, Ah, oh, Weez, why did you have to go and investigate who I am? If you only played along, you would have been alive by now. <coughs> I knew it, it was you after I finished my investigation, as I noticed you didn't have the mask. Hmm. Very good, Weez. You found out who I am but couldn't tell another soul. Such a shame, Weez. Zeno will kill you before you can throw him out, hey? I know your plan. Hmm. We will see. As I am Dai Shinkin, the strongest in this multiverse, no one can come near me. And now my plan of being the Omni King has begun. Dai Shinkin then went and killed Weez right on the spot. The master of Cumber, the one that trained Cumber to become this strong, and the master of Zalama and Zykar, was no one other than Goku's master himself. But the question is, if Daishinkin is Goku's master, why was he not able to kill Goku himself? More importantly, Whis has died as Dai Shinkin was laughing and he went and threw a attack at Whis body causing it to disintegrate. 
Daishiken then left to meet with his final student as he needed him to go and kill Goku. Once when he got there, the student of Daishiken was in universe 2 and when he saw his master, he then looked at him and said, It's been a long time master, how you been? Hmm, I'm very good. It's nice to see you too, hearts. Hmm, master, is there something you need me to do? I do. Now the time has come, hearts, for you to fulfill your master's request and obey him. What would you like me to do, master? It's time to move to plan B. I have just killed Whis. Oh, wow. You managed to kill him? Interesting. I always thought he was your favorite. Yes, he was my favorite. It is sad. But it's time to go with plan B. Hmm. All right, then. But listen. Yes, master. I don't want you to fail or else I'll destroy you even after your death. Don't worry, master. Coming to me means shit just got a lot serious, and I'll do whatever it takes. As Hart went and finished his conversation with Dai Shinkin, and he decided to go and make his way towards Goku. Meanwhile, Goku, Broly, Vegeta, and Jiren were all training together as they were all having a free for all battle. <laughs> Jiren, I won't be accept defeat! You know yourself, Vegeta. After Sun Goku, I'm the strongest here. Then it's Broly. And you're dead last out of all of us. Ugh, shut up! Jiren, just because your ass is so overpowered, it doesn't mean I'm not up there. <laughs> he got you there, Vegeta. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Vegeta, you're still last. <laughs> hey, shut up, Kakarot. You, I thought you had my back. Ugh, also, where the hell is Whis? I haven't seen him ever since. Wait, you mean Whis hasn't returned yet? I was just gonna ask you how he is, assuming it's been already a month. Yeah, I know. I have not heard anything about Weez. Ah, oh, Goku. Nice to see your training. How about you all come train with me? Uh, awesome, Daishinken. I can't wait, Master. But also, Master, do you know where Weez is? Hmm, sure I do. He's dead. Huh? He is in a dead zone. He can't find who the Master of Cumber is. Oh. You scared me there. I thought someone was strong enough to kill Whis. Is there anyone besides Goku or even Jaren able to kill Whis easily? No. No one can touch Whis. He is the strongest out of all my children. <laughs> well, as long as you're in contact with him, that means he's okay. Let's train! As they all went and they began their training. One day has passed as their training come to an end and Dai Shinkin told Goku to go to a planet called Planet Sadala in Universe 6 as a very big danger threat is heading their way and he wants Goku to stop that danger. Not knowing it was a trap, Goku then agreed to go to Universe 6 to Planet Sadala as Zeno has come to front of Goku and said, Don't worry Goku, I'll go handle this one. I know exactly who's coming there. Huh? Who is it? It's a very evil man. His name is Hearts. I tried killing him before, but he managed to escape. So I'll go and destroy him. Uh, uh, my lord, please, if you don't mind. As is Goku, your successor of the next Omni King, I believe this is a very big task for him to go and kill Hearts, don't you think? Uh huh? Well, yeah, I guess it is, but still, I think I should take care of it. My lord, with all your respect, if you do that, that means you're doubting Goku's strength. After all, you did appoint to be your successor. Let your successor take care of this. Mm, yes, Zenny, let me take care of this. This heart sounds very powerful. Hmm. Okay, if you say so, Daishinken. I do trust everything you say. Goku, you go and stop heart, please. He's very strong. <laughs> I got this, Zeno. Leave it to me, Daishinken. Can you please tell us? Why is Hart going to plant Universe 6? He's trying to collect something called a Universal Seed. What's that? Oh no, I heard of that before. Yes, Jaren, it is what you think it is. A Universal Seed can create a new universe by destroying all universe. And in order to do that, you must gather the power of all the universe and it creates one big universe. And that's why I couldn't allow that to happen. And now I'm sending my successor to go and end that. Goku, please stop the universe seed from ever happening. I will, Zenny, I promise. As they all went, an instant transmission to Universe 6 right on planet Sedala. But before Goku used instant transmission to get there, 
Hearts has already arrived on planet Sedala as he went and started to attack all the Saiyans trying to gather the energy for the Universal Seed. Qualify and Kaba has come to fight as Kel went to her legendary Super Saiyan form but Hearts went and started to beat the shit out of all of them. Out of nowhere, Goku and everyone has arrived on the scene. Hmm. And now it begins. Die, Goku. Kill him, Hearts. Don't disappoint me. Hmm. Goku, I knew you would come. Congratulations on being the next Omni King. Too bad you won't be able to be the new Omni King, as I'll kill you where you stand. Heart went and jabbed Goku right in the heart, but Jiren came just in the nick of time to save Goku as he went and caught Heart's hand and he powered up and decked Heart right in the face. Vegeta went and transformed to Master Ultra Instinct, Broly went and transformed to Legendary Super Saiyan Blue, and Goku also went to his Master Ultra Instinct form along with Jiren as they all sensed how powerful Heart was. They all went to attack Heart as a team. Heart couldn't even lay a single hand on them as they were too much for him. Heart then went and punched all of them and he said well well, looks like you really are strong, but I am stronger too. As Heart went and he began to transform to his full power. His power level came to be at 600 November Decillion. Being overwhelmed by Heart's power. Goku went and transformed into his Beyond Master Ultra Instinct, making his power level be at 300 November Decillion. As Jiren and Vegeta went to full power and they stand right by Goku, Broly came from the back and choked Hart as he was using his power to attack him. Hart then went and elbowed Broly right in the face and out of nowhere Jiren came and started to fight Hart one on one as they were going head to head. Hart then went and knocked Jiren Hart to the ground. And Vegeta tried but Goku came right in front of Hearts and the battle between Goku and Hearts begun as beyond Ultra Instinct Goku and Hearts were going at it 100%. Goku went and powered up and went to punch Heart as he got hit by Goku. Jiren came and decked him from the back as Broly went and threw a racer cannon at Heart. Heart got up and laughed. Vegeta came from the back to sucker punch him as Broly went to choke him hard and Jiren started to punch him non-stop. Goku came and rushed in to help as they all started to attack Heart at once but they found out that none of the attacks were even laying a single damage as Heart as he was laughing with joy and saying, Is this all you got? If so, you better quit. You guys are too weak. <laughs> guess what, son Goku? Guess who sent me here? <sighs> Let me guess, the same guy that wants me dead who sent Cumber, Zalama, and even Zykar to kill me. That's correct! I'm his final last student, and coming to me means shit just got serious. As Goku got very mad hearing that and he went and started to attack hearts non-stop. Goku went and displayed his beyond ultra instinct power against heart as heart was holding his own against Goku. Hearts then said let's kick it up a notch as he started to overpower Goku and he went and started to beat up Goku and decked him hard to the ground. Goku got up and said, Wow, I can't believe how strong you are. How? How did you get this strong? <laughs> Goku, I'm disappointed in you. You were supposed to be the next Omni King and yet, even at your beyond ultra instinct, you're too weak. What an embarrassment. Hmm, you talk too much. I'll kick your ass if you say another word about Goku. Goku, even your... Beyond Master Ultra Instinct, you're supposed to destroy him. Well, maybe I could if I was fresh, but I was. But now it's too late. I don't know. K Kakarot, are you telling me that even at Beyond Master Ultra Instinct, you finally found someone that's as strong as you, or anything stronger? You will lose, Goku. My master knew you won't be a match for me. Let me guess. He also trained you to prepare for this day, didn't he? Ha! 
If I had a Zenny for each time I heard that, I would've been a millionaire by now. If you already know Goku, why talk? Out of nowhere, Goku and everyone sense a lot of evil energy coming towards planet Sedala, as they saw few Zamasu has returned. Along with him, another couple of people of Heart's Man came there, and they all said, We're here, Lord Heart. Tell me what to do. Ah, Zamasu, took you long enough. I need you to go and destroy this entire planet, kill every life force, and therefore we can use the Universal Seed and destroy everything, and our master's plan will work. <laughs> As you wish. Yes, Goku, it's been a while. I'm gonna let Heart take care of you. Even if you want it, your ass can't even lay a single hand on me. Goku then told Jiren and Broly to go and fight Zamasu and to kill him and destroy all of Heart's man and save this planet at any cost, as him and Vegeta will go and take care of Heart's. He also told Vegeta, but Vegeta said, No, I'm gonna stay here with you, Kakura, to the end. Damn it, even at Beyond Master Ultra Instinct, I don't know what happened. <sighs> as Goku went, and rushed at Hearts with full power as he started to attack Hearts badly. But soon realized none of his attack was even landing a single hit on him. As Heart went, turned the table and started to beat the shit out of Goku. Vegeta came to aid him, Hearts went and decked him hard and went to Goku and non-stop punched him in the face. Being all helpless, Goku then felt ashamed of himself while getting punched in the face. He said, how the hell can I be the next Omni King if I cannot even beat Hearts? I took my power too much, it got to my head, and now I found someone that's way stronger than me. As Heart went and non-stop attacked Goku and threw him to the ground. Goku then got up, feeling very ashamed of his power and said, there's only one way to how to beat him. He then instant transmission right in front of Vegeta and took him away from Heart as Goku told Vegeta. Vegeta, listen, Kakarot, what's happening to you? He's stronger than me. But since you since you have Master Ultra Instinct too, I know what can beat him. Oh, I think I know what you're saying, Kakarot. But if we end up fusing, isn't your Beyond Master Ultra Instinct stronger than our fusion? Vegeta, you forgot? If we fuse, we can use Master Ultra Instinct. Oh, good idea! As Goku and Vegeta fused to become Gogeta. They went right in front of Heart, and Heart looked at him and said, Who are you? I'm, I'm not, not Goku, Goku, nor Vegeta. Vegeta. I am Kakarot and Vegeta, Vegeta fused making me Gogeta! And this... <laughs> Is Master Ultra Instinct Gogeta! As Gogeta went and he used Master Ultra Instinct, making his power level come to be at 800 November Decillion. As him and Heart went head to head and they had a huge showdown as both of their power clashed with one another, Gogeta then went and turned the tables and started to beat the shit out of Heart. Heart couldn't land a single hit on Master Ultra Instinct Gogeta as Gogeta was too much for him. He then headbutted Heart and decked him hard in the face. Once when Heart fell to the ground, Gogeta went and used his Kamehameha wave and he destroyed the Universal Seed. Seeing that the seed broke got Heart very upset and angry as he charged and went full power and started to attack Gogeta recklessly. Gogeta dodged all of his attack as Master Ultra Instinct Gogeta was too much for Hearts as he went and started to non-stop attack Heart in the face and body. Hearts every attack that tried to hit at Gogeta he dodged it easily as Heart was no match for him. Gogeta then went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he killed Heart with it. 
Jiren went and killed Zamasu as Heart died and Master Ultra Instinct Gogeta then went and used Final Flash and he killed all of Heart's men. Gogeta then unfused to become Goku and Vegeta again as Goku went and took all of them and he instant transmission right back to Zeno's place as they were happy that they saved the day but Goku went straight to Zeno and asked him to train him as he wants to get stronger after seeing he wasn't strong enough to even handle hearts alone. Goku then realized that he took his power too seriously and felt that he was too OP and because of that he is now going to go and focus on training more because as a Saiyan Goku doesn't like to use fusion only if it's a very necessary moment, only if it's out of desperation. Zeno smiled and said, of course Goku, don't be upset, I'm very proud of you. As your successor, this is not an excuse, I was too weak, I need to take my training to the next level, please Zeni, help me. Ok Goku, let's start, but there's something you need to know about me Goku. As my successor, every 10 quadrillion years, a universal lunar happened. A universal lunar? What is that Zeni? Every 10 quadrillion years, all universes become one for only 10 minutes. And when that happens Goku, I lose all my power. I'm very weak and I can't do nothing. This is something that has been passed down every generation and my father died because of this but luckily the 10 minutes was up and he appointed me to be the next and I was able to have his key making me this strong. Making me the, the ruler of all universes. And now since you're going to be the Omni King, you need to know the secret. And no one else besides you and Dai Shinkin know about this secret. Oh, at least thank god Dai Shinkin is with us man. After I'm done training with you Zenny, I'm going to go and train with him more. <laughs> I'm going to train you with everything I got Goku and make you stronger. Now let's go, it's time to get stronger. Hmm, very well. As Goku and Zeno began their training, Dai Shinkin on the other hand was very upset and said shit. How can you fail hearts? I underestimated Goku. I forgot these Saiyans can use fusion. But I was an impression that Goku would never use the fusion technique since he has too much pride in his own power. And because of that I made this plan to make hearts kill him. Shit. I can't believe me the great Dai Shinkin failed. Well guys, no worries, you know what tomorrow is. Yes Lord Dai Shinkin, we know what tomorrow is. Tomorrow's a day when our Lord Dai Shinkin becomes the Omni King. Tomorrow's a day guys, I'm going to kill Zeno. And once when that happens, after 3 days, I will be the next Omni King. He made the biggest mistake telling me this. And now it's time for him to die. <laughs> Let's do it. My lord, what about son Goku? Hmm, you saw him, he barely struggled to beat hearts and even at fusion, his power is half of what I am. They can do nothing. Leave it to me. As all the angels from universe 1 to universe 12 gather around Dai Shinkin and they all were with him inside this project trying to make their master the Omni King. Now Goku's enemy is not only Dai Shinkin but it is the rest of the angels inside the universe. All the angels were surrounding Dai Shinkin and one of them said, Lord Dai Shinkin, the time is very near. In about 16 hours, the universe eclipse will happen. My lord, the preparation are made. Hmm, very well. I like where all this is going. Also, where is Vados? Hmm, that traitor. She is hiding, but we'll find her. She's very loyal towards Weez, and hearing about his death made her very angry towards us. Hmm, very well. Find her, but I'll be the one that gets to kill her. Meanwhile, back on the Omni King Palace, Goku has just finished his training with Zeno as Zeno managed to get Goku a lot stronger. Damn Zeni, I feel I got a lot stronger. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Goku, I'm so proud of you. And you know now you're able to go beyond your strength. Thanks Zeni, it's all because of you. I wonder what's next. Next is go back home and enjoy your time with your family. The eclipse is about to happen soon and I'm going to go to my place and stay there during the eclipse. 
Oh yeah, you told me about that. But Zenny, I want to come with you. No, Goku. I need to be alone. I have my bodyguards. You don't worry, just go back to your family. But Zenny, Goku? Hmm, okay, Zenny. As Goku was very upset with Zeno's decision because he wanted to stay there and be able to protect his master from any danger. He then went into transmission to Earth as they all were enjoying Goku's present with his family. While Zeno went to his hideout from the lunar eclipse, Dai Shinken was sitting in his throne and he was thinking about how it all started. Ten decillion years ago, Dai Shinken was the right hand man of the Omni King's father as he did everything for him and one day the universe lunar eclipse has happened and from there he died. But before dying, he has appointed Zeno to be the next Omni King. As Dai Shinken was Zeno's right hand man, he has also promised Dai Shinken that once when Zeno's time is done and he's going to die, Dai Shinken will be the next ruler of the entire universe and he will be the Omni King. Year 737, the year Goku was born. Zeno has laid his eyes on a very interesting mortal. Thank you for all you have done for me and my dad. I really appreciate you and I don't know how to thank you Dai Shinken. Hmm, my lord Zeno, it's my pleasure. After all, my life is here to serve you and your family. As Zeno went and he divided his power in half, causing him to turn into a child and said, This power will go to the next Omni King which I have already appointed. Hmm, I'm very honored Lord Zeno, I couldn't be more proud. As Zeno has already left and Dai Shinken saw that and he went to follow Zeno. Dai Shinken thought that Zeno was going to appoint him to be the next Omni King, but he didn't. Zeno went and he instant transmission on planet Vegeta, where a baby Saiyan was crying. Once when he peered right in front of this baby, the baby stopped crying as it was Goku and he looked at Zeno. Zeno then looked at Goku and said, There there, don't cry Goku. You are the one I was waiting for. As my dad prophesied about a Saiyan named Goku would be my successor. Zeno then went and shined the energy at Goku and then he left. Zeno then told Dai Shinken to watch over Goku and make sure he is safe from any harm and to look after him. Dai Shinken then asked Zeno can I please be excused my lord. Yes you can. As he went alone and he was very angry. The hell? Is going on I was supposed to be the next in line not this kid hmm, he made a mortal the next Omni King and not me I won't allow that my lord he made that guy the next Omni King that guy's a phony in order for you to be next we need to kill him we all agreed Lord Dai Shinken we're here to serve you not Zeno we hate taking orders from him yeah Dai Shinken we don't like taking orders from Zeno guys shut up Leave it to me, it's all part of the plan. <laughs> Don't worry, you know what, I'll make sure this mortal is dead before he's even alive. Are you going to do it Dai Shinken? <clears throat> no way, I can't physically go near Goku as I'm being watched by Zeno 24 7 and if Zeno sees me near him and tries to kill him, me and all of you guys are done, he's going to destroy us before we know it. Then what is your plan? Hmm, I have a plan. As Dai Shinken watched Goku since birth until now, all the battle that Goku has faced, it was because of Dai Shinken, as he sent all of them to Earth to kill Goku, but they all failed. Goku managed to beat them all. I need you to kill all the Saiyans, and even this one. Very well, Lord Dai Shinken. I'll do that, but once I do, what's my reward? You promised to give me my son a universe right yes i do cold now i need you to not fail me and kill son goku very well i'll get my son frieza to do the job and if he fails i'll do it as frieza and his father tried to kill goku but they failed dai shinken then went to the next villain as he told him what to do and the villain said you need not to worry lord dai shinken i dr jiro will do everything i can to repay you back after all you have given me what no one can give me, life again. And for that, I'm going to create very strong androids and I'm going to kill this Goku. Hmm. Don't fail me, Jiro. 
as Jiro has failed and Goku killed the androids and he managed to kill Cell by unlocking the Ultra Instinct. He then went to Bibidi and he told Bibidi about Goku and that he needs Goku dead and try attacking the Earth and therefore Bibidi decided to go and train Majin Buu and get him stronger by killing all the Kais and they can go and destroy planet Earth and kill Goku. And when the time has come, Bibidi died but his son Bobby took over and Dai Shinkin told him the instructions. When he went to Earth, he too has failed as Goku killed Majin Buu with his Ultra Instinct. While Beerus was sleeping, Dai Shinkin came inside Beerus' dream and told Beerus a prophesy about fighting a Super Saiyan God and that he must kill that God. Getting Beerus all curious about fighting a Super Saiyan God and therefore he went to fight Goku. Being very confident that Beerus might go and kill Goku, Dai Shinkin then saw that Beerus has failed as Goku went and beat him with his Ultra Instinct. Dai Shinkin then went to another servant and said, You are my servant and now I need you to go and kill son Goku. Of course my lord, I Zamasu will do everything I can to kill son Goku. After all, you do hate mortals. He is the biggest enemy of all the mortals. He is trying to overrule us, the Kais and even me, the angel. Are you gonna allow that Zamasu? Her, hell no. I'm not gonna allow some mortal take over your place, lord. Dai Shinkin, very well, go and use the Super Dragon Balls and you could wish to have his body and therefore take this ring. This will help you find the Super Dragon Balls quick and you kill him. But I need you to act like you don't know anything about where the Super Dragon Ball is and try to go find it and do all the acting because if anyone finds out, especially Zeno, I am dead. And once I become the Omni King, you get to have your own universe, filled with just Kai. Thank you, I love it. As Zamasu went and tried to get Goku black and try to kill Goku, but he too has failed as Goku went and mastered Ultra Instinct and he killed Zamasu. Dai Shinkin then decided to have an idea and that is doing a tournament of power as he told Zeno to hold a tournament of power and that eliminate all the universes including the mortals. Yeah, I like that. I want to see some fighting, but I'm not at a universe 7. My successor's there. My lord, please, if he's your successor, he will definitely win this tournament. And if he's not, then that means you chose the wrong successor, isn't that right? Hmm, just to prove you wrong, watch Dai Shinkin. He's gonna beat this tournament and win it. Fine, if Goku loses, I'll destroy him and his universe. As they went and hold the tournament of power. Thanks to Dai Shinkin because he wanted Goku dead, but therefore he also made a plan that once when the tournament tournament of power happen and that Goku survives and the universe 7 wins, he needs Android 17 to use a Dragon Ball and wish back for what he did because Dai Shikin has studied Android 17 and he saw his good nature and he knew that 17 would be the one to make this wish and that was to wish back all the universe including universe 13 to 18. All of them came back all thanks to Android 17's wish. From there, Zeno then told Goku to train with Dai Shinkin as Dai Shinkin made Goku a student and he tried to get him stronger but not strong enough. As Dai Shinkin went and gathered all of his student Cumber, Zalama, Zykar and even Hearts and he met with them with them all during the time Goku was a baby and he made this idea to train them and make them their students for the sole purpose of killing Goku. And they all failed and therefore Dai Shinkin decided to go and do plan B and that is the universe eclipse. He knows exactly where Zeno is going to hide and therefore when a lunar eclipse happens, he is going to go and kill Zeno. The time has happened as there was one minute left universe lunar eclipse to happen. Dai Shinkin arrived at Zeno's hideout and Zeno saw him and said, oh, I'm so glad you're here Dai Shinkin. When you're around me, I feel very safe. Hmm, <laughs> me too. I like being around you Zeno. Huh? You call me Zeno Daishinken, you always say Lord. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the universe lunar eclipse begun. As Daishinken went and he killed Zeno's bodyguard right in front of him. Being very shocked and surprised, Zeno then started to feel very sad and emotional and said, What are you doing Daishinken? Why are you doing this? I trusted you. Hmm. You trusted me? You made a bad decision trusting me. 
If you trusted me, you could appoint me to be your successor, but you chose this mortal. And that's when I came up with this plan to kill you. As he went and grabbed Zeno by the back and said, I was waiting for this day, Zeno. As Zeno cried and said, How can you betray me, Dai Shinken? You're gonna pay! Goku's gonna make you! And Dai Shinken went and he cut Zeno right from the stomach as Zeno went and fell into two pieces as Zeno died right there. Goodbye, you foolish child. Once when Dai Shinken killed Zeno, Goku was feeling very disturbed and out of nowhere he saw Zeno's soul come right next to him and said, Goku, I'm so proud of you and I'm glad I made you my successor. You're my friend. You're the best person I've ever met. The rest is on you, Goku. Zeni, what happened? Why are you telling me this? And Zeno disappeared. Goku went and instant transmission right towards where Zeno was and once when he got there, he saw Zeno was on the ground, dead. Zeno! Zeno, no! As Goku ran quickly towards Zeno, he grabbed Zeno in his arm and he started to cry out loud. No, Zeno, no! You can't leave me, please, Zeno! Don't go! As Goku was holding on to Zeno and crying out loud. Goku then heard a voice. Please, Zeno, please, no! Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, you stubborn, stubborn mortal. You will never die. Goku turned around and he saw Dai Shinken standing there. The master of Zalama, Zykar, Cumber, and Hearts, and also the master of Goku, is the same person that killed Zeno and wants Goku dead. Hmm, you foolish mortal, how dense can you be? <sighs> I, I can't believe it. No, I won't accept it. You killed Zeno and you're the one that wants me dead? No, I won't believe it. <laughs> this is why I hate mortals. You guys can't accept reality. As Goku was very heartbroken and he couldn't comprehend what to do, his predecessor has died and his master is the one that trained Goku and made him this strong just so that he can kill Goku and his predecessor as Goku was really heartbroken and he didn't know what to do and he couldn't control any of his emotions. And then he asked, Why? Tell me why did you do this? And why are you doing this? Hmm. It's because I'm the rightful Omni King. As all the angels came and surrounded Dai Shinken, seeing all the angels with him, Goku then realized that this was the plan the whole time. As Dai Shinken told the angel that anytime now, I am going to be the Omni King. Zeno has fallen, and now Goku, since you were my student, a master always has some type of love for a student, so I'll show you mercy and I'll decide to give you one last chance. Would you like to join me in my crusade? Never! I'll kill you, Zeno! As Universe 12 Angel came to attack Goku, but Goku caught her by her neck and he broke it with just one hand and said, I'll kill all of you! You made a bad mistake, Dai Shinken, and for that, Cause now I'm mad! I'm really, really mad! And now it's time to pass! As Dai Shinken laughed and said, So be it, kill Goku! Before Dai Shinken can finish his word, he then got sucker punched very hard in the face by Jiren. Vegeta has managed to come along with Gohan as Goku saw Jiren and said, Jiren, what are you guys doing here? How'd you get here? <clears throat> Son Goku, you're never alone. We're all here to help you in this war. Let's kill Dai Shinken. As Goku saw Jiren was already inside his Master Ultra Instinct form, Vegeta appeared and he was inside his Master Ultra Instinct form and Broly was there too. 
along with Gohan. As Brawly was inside his Ultra Instinct form and Gohan managed to reach Super Saiyan Blue and said, Father, I'm here to help you. Goku then smiled as they all got together and they looked at Dai Shinken. How did you guys all get here? As Vados has appeared right in front of Dai Shinken and said, I'll never forgive you Dai Shinken for what you did to Weez. So Vados, you the one who brought these mortals here, huh? Of course, these mortals will be the one to defeat you. You try to take Goku's rightful place, which is not yours, and I'm gonna make sure he gets it back. Vegeta, Broly, Gohan, and Vados, all of you guys go and fight the remaining 15 angels. Jaren and me will fight Dai Shinken as the war begun. Broly went and he started to attack all the angels as he managed to kill half of them by himself, while Vegeta, Vados, and Gohan fought the rest. Goku rushed at Dai Shinken and he punched him in the face as Jiren came from the back and he uppercutted Dai Shinken. Dai Shinken went to attack Jiren but Goku went and kicked him as Jiren and Goku were standing side by side and staring at Dai Shinken. You really think you're that strong Goku? I have to admit, you have gotten a lot stronger as Goku's power level in his Beyond Master Ultra Instinct form was at 700 Vigatillion and Jiren You've been training, hmm, but you guys are still not enough for me, as Dai Shinken went and kicked it up a notch by punching Goku in the face and he grabbed Jiren and started to attack him. Goku then came from the back to grab Dai Shinken but Dai Shinken took Goku by his hair, kneed him in the face and he started to beat the crap out of Goku. Goku couldn't land a single hit at Dai Shinken. Jiren came to attack him but Dai Shinken hit him without even seeing him. As Goku went and threw a Kamehameha wave but Dai Shinken let it hit him as Goku and Jiren went 100% but they saw that the Kamehameha wave hasn't laid a single scratch on Dai Shinken. Dai Shinken was laughing the whole time while they were fighting. He then went to power up and said, it's time for you guys to die. It's gonna pain me to kill you Goku but this is what it is. Damn he's too strong. I don't know how we, we can beat him. Do you have any idea, Goku? Hmm. It's like hearts all over again. Goku, what the hell is he made of? I don't know, but we have to do everything. We can't let him win! As Goku and Jiren went and continued to fight with Dai Shinken. Meanwhile, Vegeta was getting overpowered by the angels as Vado saw that Goku and Jiren were getting overpowered by Dai Shinken. She then came up with a plan. Back to Goku's fight, he then went and punched Dai Shinken right in the spine as he fell down to the ground. He then got up and saw Goku and Jiren standing there, looking at him with anger. Vados has come right in front of him along with Vegeta and Brawly as she placed a shield so that the other angels can't interfere. Dai Shinken saw and said, you know what, I have something for you guys. As he went and laughed, Dai Shinken began to glow and he transformed. This is something I picked up during my time. I was saving this for the right moment. I think this is the best time. You can call me Grand Priest. My true form. As everyone sensed the power and they all were shaking with fear. Dai Shinken's power went off the chart as he was at 600 centillion. Oh, Goku. Why, I have an idea, why don't you fuse with me? We can kill him together, just like how you did with Vegeta. That's a great idea, Jiren, I like it. I'm afraid you guys can't. I have these, the Patoa ranks. I brought it for this moment, but it won't work for you and Jiren. Because unfortunately, Jiren, you guys aren't the same race. These fusion only works for the same race. Darn it, if I fuse with Jiren, we could have had a chance to beat him. As the shield broke and the rest of the angels came in to attack, Goku then said I have an idea, Jiren, you Brawly go work together and kill the angels, Vegeta will fuse and will try to beat him. Jiren went to the angels and he begun his assault as he went and killed some of them with Broly's help and Vegeta Goku then wore the earrings and they fused to become Vegeta.
All right, let's do this Daishinken. Let's see if he can beat us. As they went and they used their autonomous ultra instinct and attacked Daishinken. Vegeta went and he powered up to his master ultra instinct and the battle begun as they both land blow to blows hit to hit. It won't work you weakling mortal and now you will die as he went and punched master ultra instinct Vegito and they start to go at it. Vegito then went and powered up to 100% and said there's, there's no, no way we're gonna, gonna lose we are, are the hope of the universe. universe as he went and started to attack Dark Shinken non-stop. While Jiren and Broly managed to kill all the angels, Jiren then came to aid Goku as he went and started to throw punches at Dai Shinken, and Broly came to help. Dai Shinken hold its own against all of them as he laughed and said, It's futile. You guys can't even touch me. He then went and punched Broly so hard, causing him to fall to the ground and start to throw out blood. Vados went to aid Broly as Dai Shinken went and grabbed Jiren and he decked him so hard to the ground with just one punch, causing Jiren to be completely depleted out of power. Jiren then got up and he started to power up an attack to throw at Dai Shinken with everything he's got left in him. While Vegeta was trying to hold his own against Dai Shinken, Dai Shinken went and used 20% of his power and he overpowered Master Ultra Instinct Vegeta as he went and beat the shit out of them causing Goku and Vegeta to unfuse. Vegeta was knocked out to the ground along with Gohan, Broly and Jiren and the only one standing was Goku and Vados. You're still not gonna win Daishinken, I'll do everything I can to beat you. <laughs> Give up mortal, you are too weak. In about any minute now, I will be the next Omni King. Vados then came right in front of Daishinken as she went and threw it a powerful attack to hit him but he did not get any scratch as Dai Shiken went and killed her right in front of Goku. Seeing that got Goku really upset as she died and she said it's up to you Goku. Goku was in the ground and he noticed that not even Vegito Master Ultra Instinct was strong enough to fight this monster as he was ready to accept defeat. But then Goku saw Zeno's spirit come right next to him and said, Is this really you Goku? Is this my successor? <sighs> Zeni, you're here. Uh, I, he's, he's too strong. I can't win. And now it's time for me to join you, Zeni. Goku, you are the hope of this multiverse. If he wins, the other world, everything will be destroyed. Dai Shinken wants to destroy everything that resists, that has any mortals besides angels. He's gonna make this whole multiverse filled with angels. Goku, I believe in you. As Goku saw all the fighters from the multiverse, they came and they all said to Goku, spiritual wise, that we believe in you too. Zeno then said, Remember, Goku, the light I gave you? Uh, yeah, I remember, Zeni. As Goku had tears flowing down his face and said, I won't let you down Zeni, I'll do everything I can. Please Goku, you are the final hope of this multiverse. If you die, it's over. Are you really my successor? Yes, I am. Then Goku, show Dai Shinken that power, what we did in our training. As Goku remembered throughout his training with Omni King, they did nothing but meditate, but that meditation was strong enough to help Goku release a new power and from there he'd begun his training with Omni King and that's when Zeno went and poured the rest of the energy inside Goku. Goku saw his hand and he saw his chest was glowing with that energy as he managed to get up. Hmm, you still got up you foolish mortal, when will you die? It's over Dai Shinken. I will not let you terrorize this universe. Hmm, what the hell can you do? Your ma beyond Master Ultra Instinct was too weak. Even your Vegito Master Ultra Instinct was too weak. I must admit, you are beyond stronger than anything. But I have a form. I did not want to use it, but now it's time. If I use it, you will die with an instant. Hmm, is that so? <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> oh, Goku, do you know something? I want to actually tell you a secret. This is something that you need to know. I have no time for you, Daishinken. Trust me, you'll love to know. I've been watching you your whole life. What? What do you mean? Since the day you were born until now, I watched your every battle. And who do you think made you this strong? No way! It can't be! Yes way! I'm the one who made all of them come and kill you. I sent Frieza towards you. I have sent Boo, Beerus, all of them, including Zykar, Cumber, Zalama, all the opponents that you have fought until now, Goku. I am the one who sent them to kill you, but then they all failed. Also, Goku, would you love to see how Zeno died, the face he had when he saw I betrayed him, as Daishiken went and started to beat up Goku really badly, and from there he then showed Goku how he killed Zeno, as Goku saw and he started to tear up, and from there he went and he screamed as he punched Daishiken in the face and he said, you made, you made a big mistake, Daishinken! No! No! And from there, Goku began to scream as he couldn't hold his emotion any longer and he began to transform. What the? What the hell is this power? My god, it can't be. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Son Goku, what has he become? Uh, Kakarot, what is this? Oh my god. <laughs> That's my brother right there. Show him not to mess with us, Goku. I have your back. What the? What are you? I can't sense your power. I am the answer to all the living things, ally to good, nightmare to you, Daishinken! <laughs> Calm down, Daishinken. Are you really scared of a mortal? Oh, you got me there, Goku. For a second, I kinda got scared of you. But you know what? Out of nowhere, Goku went and he decked Daishinken so hard in the face. This new transformation of Goku was known as Omni Saiyan Goku as his power level came to be at infinity. Goku then looked at Daishinken as Daishinken got up and, and he was holding on to his mouth as he got punched by Goku very hard and said, You foolish mortal! How dare you touch a god! As he went and he tried to attack Goku. But Goku went and he again punched Daishinken right in the stomach as he flew to the ground. Unbelievable! He managed to hurt me again? Me, the great Daishinken! Oh my god, I can't believe what I'm witnessing from Son Goku. I'm so proud to call him my best friend. Just look at that. <laughs> to think at one point I was actually stronger than him all the way back in the turn of power. But when he uses Ultra Instinct against me, from there I had motivation to get stronger, but this guy is something else. As Daishinken got up 
and went right in front of Goku. But I don't know where Goku went and grabbed him by his face and threw him to the ground and went right in front of him and Goku said, What were you saying Daishinken? I didn't get that. You are saying something? Uh, shut up you foolish mortal! No you shut up! As Goku went and punched Daishinken again and Daishinken got very mad. He then got up and said, Don't get ahead of yourself foolish Saiyan. I have to tell you something. I won't let you make a fool out of me. I was only using 10% of my power. Now behold, 100% as Daishinken went and he powered up to his 100%. Once he powered up, he then went and sucker punched Goku very hard in the face as Goku flew miles away and from there Daishinken went right behind him. He got Goku and he started to beat Goku up. Goku then went and elbowed Daishinken but then he went and caught Goku's elbow and threw him to the ground. As for a second Daishinken felt like he overpowered Goku. You see mortal, this is me at 100%. I told you I was holding back. Hmm, you're pretty strong Daishinken. But is this all? Huh? You! How dare you! As Daishinken went right towards Goku and both of their power clashed with one another. Non-stop blow to blow. The entire multiverse was crumbling as Goku and Daishinken went at it. Daishinken then went and kicked Goku very hard as Goku went and kicked him back. From there Daishinken went and threw an attack at Goku but Goku caught the attack but it seemed to be too much for Goku as he screamed and the attack got dispersed. <laughs> you see mortal, this is me at 100%. You are not even a match for me. Look at you lying there all hopeless. To think this foolish mortal was the Omni King over me. I am the rightful owner. Goku then got up and said, You're a fool Daishinken. Because this fight is far from over. As Daishinken got worried and Goku went in instant transmission right in front of him. And he headbutted him so hard and their fight continued. Goku then went and started to have the advantage as he went and uppercut a Daishinken and punched him to the ground. Daishinken got up and saw Goku was right in front of him and Goku said, Hmm, you were at 100% right? <sighs> Here you mortal, shut up! <laughs> you foolish angel, I was only using 5% against you. What? No way, stop lying, there's no way! You're too weak! Allow me to use only 15%. That will be more than enough to kill you Daishinken. As Goku went and he powered up to 15%. Once when he powered up to 15% Goku's entire body was glowing. As Daishinken was no match for Goku. And Ve Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Daishinken. Vegeta, Jiren and Broly couldn't believe what they were witnessing. But they were very proud that Goku was the one to be able to be this strong and fight Daishinken on their behalf. I told you you foolish angel, I will kill you for what you did to my predecessor. I was just toying with you this whole time, but now you... You claim to be at 100%? <sighs> sure. So? Well, I'm only at 15% and if I want, I can easily defeat you. You're no match for me Daishinken! As Goku went and punched him right in the stomach and Daishinken couldn't breathe. Daishinken then went berserk as he went and threw everything he's got and started to attack Goku non-stop but Goku blocked all of his attack and he countered him back as he kicked his ass. <sighs> How is this possible? How are you this strong? It can't be! I was convinced that I'm the strongest in the multiverse! Even the great Zeno couldn't touch me. <laughs> what you fail to see is I am the one that Zeno has appointed. And therefore, I am the one and only true Omni King. No one can touch me. As Goku with his new Omni form went and grabbed Daishinken. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> you foolish angel. I have Zeno's power with my fighting skill and body. Do the math, power of Zeno to destroy anything and the mind and power of mine, that equals unstoppable. 
as Goku went and he decked Daishiken in the face nonstop and he said, You use these hands to kill Zenor. Well, allow me to rip it off! As Goku ripped both of Daishinken's arm and he was screaming in pain. Goku then went and threw him to the ground to the point Daishinken went right back to its original form and from there Goku came right in front of him and said, It's over Daishinken. This is the time you die. As Goku brought his hand right in front of Daishinken and Daishinken screamed as Goku went and destroyed him and erased him from existence. Goku now had the power to use what Zeno has to destroy anything from existence and he can destroy the entire multiverse if he wants with just one hand. That's how powerful Goku knew Omni Saiyan form has become as he is now the true Omni King of the entire multiverse. Goku then went and punched the ground very hard as the entire Zeno palace has exploded and from there the super dragon balls were right there. He then went and summoned it as, as of now Goku has become the new owner of the super dragon balls. Once when the super dragon balls has been summoned, it then saw Goku and bowed down towards Goku. Goku then wished back for all the people that died by Dai Shinken to be brought back alive as Vados, Whis, Beerus, everyone that he killed came back to life except for Zeno. Because since Zeno was the Omni King, once when you're the Omni King, you can never be wished back by any Dragon Ball. So Zeno has been dead forever as everyone was happy and they're celebrating with joy. Goku then looked back at Zeno's palace and he saw the spirit of Zeno smiling and he said, I'm proud of you Goku, you did it. Goku is now the new Omni King. Five days later, after the fight with Daishinken, all of the angels has returned back as they were under Daishinken's control and they couldn't have any control of, over themselves and therefore Goku decided to bring them back and make them work with him. And they are very loyal towards their new Omni King, Goku. And since Xeno's palace has been destroyed due to the fight with Daishinken, Goku made Earth the new Zeno King Palace high above the sky so that he can be with his family anytime and when they need him he can go to the palace easily and be the universe's Omni King. Goku has left Earth to make a special visit to someone in Hell. <clears throat> hey you! Get up! You have a visitor! Hmm? What does someone want with me? Shut up and show some manners! He is the Omni King! Lord Omni King, it's he's here. Goku, you're the Omni King? What the hell is that? Hey, watch your mouth before I rip your hand out. <laughs> it's okay, Jaren. Learn some manners. <laughs> Thanks, Brawly. I got this, guys. Hey, Cell. Uh, hey, what do you want? Thank you, Cell. Because of you, everything has happened for me the way it has now. Ever since you came to Earth and tried to fight me, and from there I have achieved this new power Ultra Instinct, I have now went to new heights and now I'm able to go and be the Omni King of this entire universe and have the most strongest form ever. What, what do you mean? This is the Omni Saiyan form, but I thought I should come here and say thank you to you because you made this happen. If I never met you and fought you, probably I would not be standing here as the Omni King. Well, I gotta go now, Cell. See you soon. As Goku left, and he went to see Vegeta. When he got there, Vegeta was training, and he saw Goku, and he bowed down, and they all talked with one another. Goku then said his goodbye to Vegeta, as he said, You're my best friend, Vegeta, and I'm glad you were in my life. <laughs> you too, Kakarot. I'm honored to be your best friend and to call you mine. Goku made Vegeta's world be right next to Earth so that they can come visit anytime they want. Whis then bowed down and said, It's my humble honor, Omni King. Thank you so much and goodbye. As he smiled and said, I still can't believe Goku is my Omni King. Goku came back home and he celebrated with his family as he is watching over all the universes with his right hand man Jiren and his left hand man Broly, no one can come and mess with Goku from now on as he will be the rightful owner of the entire universe and he's going to be watching over everyone and making sure everyone is safe. 
thank you very much for watching this entire series of what if Goku has achieved Ultra Instinct against Cell. As you can see, all of this event occurred because of that moment. I really appreciate you guys for all watching this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this series, and as always my Z fans, have an insane day.